Hello. I hope this is working. Um, oh, I didn't even know that. So Sammy's just commented in the live chat that only six people can go in at once. I didn't realise there was a limit on StreamYard, so yeah, we might have to take turns or I'm not I'm not quite sure what will happen. There might not be that many people watching, so we'll see, won't we? We'll see what actually happens on here. So yeah, um I'm always so awkward on live streams when I first start. So yeah, I'm Skylark24, Desiree Skylark, to those who don't know me. And I am this crazy person who likes coin operated rides and has spent the best part of 25 years researching their history. So yeah, um, basically normally on a special event like a 10th anniversary, I would have been uploading extra ride videos. And but because of the lockdown and all that stuff, not really been able to film many kitty rides this year. So I'm trying to keep the schedule going as long as possible. So instead of that, I decided to put a live stream on today because people are always asking when I'm going to do another live stream. So I thought, yeah, we're, we're running 15 minutes late because I did say we'd start at um, 7.30. But I thought it'd just be nice to maybe talk about how I got into coin-operated rides and maybe show some pictures and stuff from the past and then answer questions and maybe some of us can talk. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna play out. I just thought it'd be really fun to like celebrate the 10th anniversary. Oh, that's that's very nice. My friend Joseph is in the chat now and he's telling me I'm not crazy. Well, I feel crazy. I'm the, I'm the strange oldest one in the ride community who uh, collects all these kitty ride photos. So yeah. Right, so. I thought, to start off, I'm going to pull out my flash drive, which has got all my coin operator rad stuff on it. Hopefully nobody's going to break into this house and steal it all now, now they know where to find it. And show just a couple of pictures to show you where I first got into kiddie rides. So basically, this all started when my mum got a new camera and she thought it'd be cool to see how many different kiddie rides she could photograph me right. Showing my age now, but this would have been back in 1993. When I know most of the ride community weren't even around. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's see if I can. Share my screen. Share screen. So I can share the whole screen. Don't need to share audio at the moment, do I? Not that there's any audio to share, actually. So, share my whole screen. And if I, yeah, I think this should work. So this is the very first kiddie ride photo. This is where it all started back in, I think, summer of 1993. My mum won a camera and I loved this coin-operated giraffe that was opposite our house outside newsagent. And that's me sitting on Gilbert the giraffe, who I now know is actually Jerry, and that's my sister holding me on the giraffe because I'm so young I'm you know my mum's worried I'd fall off so <laughs> that's where it all started actually it started before that because my mum tells me there was a ride in our local gateways I think it's gateways and it was a little silver car and before I could even sit up I was trying to look at this car and basically it's a life it's an absolute lifelong obsession with kiddie rides and this is where it all began. So I already loved kiddie rides. So my mum got the camera, decided to take a picture of me on Gilbert the giraffe. And then she thought it would be cool to see how many different ride pictures we could get. So 
going back to me now. <laughs> she um, thought, oh, can we get 10 different rides? Can we get 20 different rides? Can we get 50 different rides? And we went all over England and ended up with, I think, 1,600 different photographs. And these would span, this was pre-digital camera, before we had digital camera. My mum used to send the films off to be developed. And I think, I think the photo span from 1993 to 2006. So I was too big to ride Kitty Rides by 2006. So I, there was kind of an overlap where I started taking pictures of rides and without me riding on them. And my mum kind of gave up on it because I got too big. And then I got my own digital camera in September 2006. And Obviously, some of the first rides, first, some of the first photos I took naturally were of kiddie rides. So there's not been a single year in my life where I haven't had kiddie ride photos. Although, sadly, my digital camera, I put all the photographs on my laptop. My laptop crashed, and I think I lost pretty much every picture from 2006, 7, and 8. But apart from that, I've got a pretty um, comprehensive, is that even a word? Like, I've got a pretty complete. Um, history of my own coin operated ride life yeah so that's pretty much the rundown so I got my first digital camera in September 06 still got a picture of Jerry on there cross that off um I got my first digital camera in 2006 but even at that point it hadn't occurred to me to um start filming kiddie rides so that started a couple of years after that. But you can see, I mean, OK, this is, for instance, go back into the screen share. These are all my childhood photographs, all in different folders, as you can see, by month. So I've got all of that on this flash drive. And we're going to digital ride photos. And my first digital ride photos I've got saved from 2007. And sadly, these were the only two that survived the, the big computer crash with Jasper the steam engine and Rupert, who were at the Galeria shopping centre in September 07. So I've got pictures going back that far of digital, you know, digital camera photos. So, um, so that went on 2008. I've got all these pictures. <laughs> Because by this point, I was going on a few foreign holidays, you know, traveling internationally. And I started taking pictures in France and Germany. And I've got all these pictures. But then the bit that's of most interest to us here tonight is obviously when I started filming rides. So if we go into YouTube, I should be able to stream. The first ever Goody Ride video on Skylark 24. So it never dawned on me to film Goody Rides. It was actually, um, you know, I just thought that was that was a scary thing to do because I, I was scared of being told off, and also I just didn't think it was worth spending the money filming them. So I think it was more about taking still photos back then. But then there was one ride which combined two of my interests because I'm also a My Little Pony collector. So I decided when we went to Watford one
save them. Put myself back in the stream here. Remove that. And here I am back again with my hair looking horribly scruffy under the spotlight. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, that was the first kiddie ride that I filmed, and that was 10 years ago today, which is horrifying to think because it feels like yesterday. So as most of the ride enthusiasts will have just noticed, it said that there was one more ride available at the end of that ride. And at that point, I sat down by the side of the ride and audio recorded the music, which I've still got in an audio file. Um, yeah, so I can remember us making a quick getaway after I filmed that ride and my mum saying to me, oh, we, we, I think we got away with it. No one, no one's told us off. No, no, security aren't following us. It's all all right. And, <laughs> but they did give you some funny looks when you got down next to the ride and started audio recording the speaker. And that was going to become a huge part of my life. Little did I know it at the time. But I think at that point, there weren't really kiddie ride YouTube channels. It wasn't a huge thing. I think Elias Flinter was around just about at the time. Wasn't like uploading for history of coin operated ride purposes. It was more, you know, his mum was going around taking films of him on the rides, a bit like my mum had started off, what, 18 years before that, 17 years before that. So, yeah, what goes around comes around and all that. But <laughs> Sorry, I'm sounding crazier and crazier here. So, yeah, basically, that was the first ride. And then after that, I thought, oh, actually, I want to expand this. I want to take more films. But I was a bit worried at the time that I can remember thinking, even what would my mum and dad think of me stopping and filming rides and spending money on them? Because I don't even think my YouTube was monetized back then. It was just like a hobby. But my next goal was to find an Edwin Hall ride to film. And I remember I was I mean, I'd always researched kiddie rides, obviously. And at that point, I just started working on the History of Coin Operated Rides website, which sadly ended up not coming to fruition because. Basically, I didn't realize quite how many rides there were. The bandwidth couldn't withstand all the pictures. The website crashed, it never got published, and now it's been moved to a YouTube channel, which is the History of Coin Operated Rides YouTube channel, which is linked in the description below. So if anyone hasn't subscribed, please do, because that's where all the information and all the old childhood photos and everything is eventually going to be uploaded as soon as we've got 1,000 subs, up to 220 now. So yeah, my next goal was to film was to film an Edwin Hall ride because Edwin Hall was my favourite coin operated ride company. And at that point, I just didn't know that there were any rides, any Edwin Hall rides still available, still around working because we hadn't been to the seaside for a long time. And I kind of, although I was taking photos of rides everywhere we went, I wasn't actively seeking them at that point. So, yeah. I started looking online, were any of my childhood favourites still around? And my second ride film was the Ostrich Kitty Ride at Burnley Gardens, which I'm also glad to show you, because this was like the first ride that was filmed for ride purposes, rather than um, My Little Pony collection purposes. So we're just going to put this on here.
it was the year after that that I ended up getting kiddie rides of my own from Ogna Pier, which were the rides that had kind of inspired me to keep up the history of coin operated rides photo collection. Because, yeah, let's go into those since they're such a massive part of all of this. Um, most of you have probably already seen these pictures, but obviously, um, beyond Jerry Gilbert, as it was, can everyone hear me speaking when I don't share my own screen, like when I don't share my face? Does that make sense? When I'm sharing like the ostrich video and the My Little Pony Ride video, are you still hearing my commentary over the top? Because I don't know if I'm cutting my own voice out. Yes. OK, so that's all fine. So I can continue to share the screen. So this is the rides. These are the photographs that were taken on Bognor Pier in July 1996. God only knows why I'm so obsessed with kiddie rides to this day because I was terrified. I mean, you can see my face. I was so scared of this ride. I can remember forcing myself to sit in it. <laughs> so I thought it was going to fly off of the base. This is the infamous carousel who I ended up owning 16 years after this. That's not that's not on Bogner Pier. That was in the town centre in Bogner. But these were all the rides of Bogner Pier. And this is the sad story where they had all these amazing rides on Bogner Pier. This was Silver, who I also ended up owning. And then the next year, the pier got taken over and all the rides disappeared. That was opposite the pier, but most of these were on the pier. That's Goldie, who I just ended up with last year. I found her on Facebook Marketplace and she got reunited with Carousel and Silver. On for some reason, my mum took a second picture of that tractor. But yeah, all these rides were on Bob and Pierce and Brighton, so that's irrelevant. So yeah, that was like a... Um, oh. Can't hear you when you play the videos because you muted yourself. Shoot. <laughs> I didn't realise that. My upload speed's getting lower. Oh, stream quality gets lower. That's not very good. Um, OK, let's just go back to my own face on here then. Oh, it's a shame because I was hoping that we could just do like commentary, but it looks like I have to share myself and the screen and then of course it is going to get slower. But yeah, that was really what I wanted to say, like how, um, how I could like take all these pictures and um, so I th can't remember when I decided to start filming everything. I can't remember when I decided to start filming everything. It was just like it went from filming the vintage stuff. And then I thought, yeah, but the modern stuff is going to become vintage one day. So I want to film everything that's still out there. And because it's quite shocking to look at. I don't know if this is even going to work now because I'm not. I've kind of been put off of sharing my screen. But if I look at for instance what's a good place to look for 2008 which is the first complete digital photo records I have um so if we look at 2008 I mean this I suppose this is 12 years ago now which is a long time and yet to me it doesn't feel that long ago um hang on let's go into Skegness that's a place most people know. So, yeah, most of these rides are still are still there now. Let's see if I can share this. So this is like August 2008. And I was taking still pictures of rides that were in Skegness then. And obviously there's some, some that people will recognise. Basil Brush was outside then. Um, there was an Alpha Ted there. I'm trying to think where that was in Skegness. Can't actually think where that is, but there was an RGM Express. Um, 
and all this was there in 2008. That's Batman Forever Car that was still there, and I managed to film many years later. Most of these actually were still there. Very little changes on the Escape Most Pleasure feature. There were things like, for instance, there was a Bafco breakdown truck. And I obviously didn't film that on Escape Most Pleasure Beach. And this was a Chinese telephone ride, which, again, you know, it's only a Chinese ride. It's not that important, but I had childhood memories of it. Now it's no longer there. This was obviously on Escape Most Pleasure Beach up until far more recently, but I never managed to get it because it was, it was never working when I started to try and film. But that just shows basically the kind of things, and this one is the one that really bugs me, because that was there right up until two years ago, Drum Amusements Tractor, and I never got a film of that. But if I'd been filming back then, as you can see, there were just that many more old rides. And these were all at the end of the Skegness Road outside an arcade that's now been demolished. So there's a Jolly Roger fire engine there, a recovery truck, a simulator, and all this kind of stuff was was all in Skegness. And even things like this ATM bike. I don't think he liked me taking the picture. Um, <laughs> so I think it just made me aware that all these rides were disappearing. And so that's why I started filming everything. Hang on. I've got lots of comments here and I need to be uh, checking through them probably. So I started filming everything and I suppose what I wanted to say was I was shocked when I actually edited the playlist last night. And I think it's all up to date now with everything in um, date order. And we have 701 different rides on Skylot 24 now. I couldn't believe that. I think there must be over a thousand ride videos on here, <laughs> including all the duplicates. And obviously not all of those are my own films because I've, I've like gathered old cine film and, you know, but yeah, that was just, that was a little rundown of some of the stuff that we've got on here. So yeah, so I think I'd better start going through your comments on here because it's getting rather late, it's 10 past eight already. So hi everybody, I'm not gonna call everyone's names out individually because I might miss somebody out now there's this many comments. Um, my mic was disabled. Yeah, if only I'd read the comments before, I would have. I would have seen. Um, wonder how many of those MLP rides are left. There's definitely still one in Hartlepool. Well, I didn't even know that one was still there, so that's that's good to know. Of course, we don't know what arcades will still be around when everything reopens, but. Those rides owned by Rides for Hire that you took pictures of. That's oh, that's not to do with me. No. Um, yeah. Are they? What's my best ride? Charlie's asking. Well, I suppose it would be the Bob and Pier rides, wouldn't it? Um, hi, Harry. I said I wouldn't call individual people out, but you've written hi, Desiree, so. So hello everybody, hello, hello, can I see you? I can see everybody. Um, what happened to the casino horses? Oh, the, the ones that um, were in Canvey Island. Yeah, that's um, that was a sad story. So they were two Walter Street's horses, for people who don't know, and they were outside an arcade. And some idiotic driver drove up on the pavement and drove into them and smashed them to pieces. And then two of the last 
well, I now know that the two from Hastings Pier did survive. I don't know what happened to them because they just got sold recently. But they were definitely within the last 10 existing in the entire country. And she managed to smash two at once. I mean, that's some achievement to a dangerous driver. Um, so what's the mute MLP ride I mentioned on a comment? That's the one that I believe it's the same one that it's the gas man's talking about. That's um I didn't know it was Hartlepool, I can't remember where it was. It's it um Ernie Nickel Sun Usement Arcade. He'll know better than me because it was I think it was him who found it in the first place. It was in the same arcade where I filmed a foul gas Cavalo Derby. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can find that arcade, but sadly it didn't work the day I was there. So, yeah, I don't know what people want me to do now. I mean, I can go through, I can go through other old stuff on here. I'm not sharing too much of it because I'm still holding some back for the History of Coin Operated Rides website. Like the, well, not websites now, YouTube channel. So, but I can share through some more of my like digital ride photos. So I did want to show some other stuff on here while I remember. So, like we were saying about Skegness, I just think it's interesting to see what actually was in. For instance, what was in Bournemouth. I mean, Bournemouth is quite an interesting one to look at from 2008 because it just shows a mix of the kind of rides that I was photographing and not filming. All of this was in Bournemouth 12 years ago. I mean, gosh, what I would do to go back there now and take films of OMC, Rosie and Jim. The Bafco helicopter, all right, that's... Actually, it's not, it's not Bafco helicopter, is it? It's a Bafco helicopter, but it's this is one made for Electromobile Technics. So I still would have... Um, I still would love to have had a film of that. I don't know who Avon rides were. They must have been a distributor at some point. But all of this was at one arcade, which is almost closed down in Bournemouth now. It got Chattanooga Choo Choo got Coco the Clown Train, which I know some of my viewers are obsessed with, and he was in Bournemouth as well. Um, but look, Mr. Blobby Seesaw, Whittaker Brothers Cars, I mean, all these old rides, that Super Sprint, you've got the R.G. Mitchell Super Sprint there. These are rides that I wouldn't have a clue where to find now. These were probably the last ones, kind of Snoopy Doghouse. It's just crazy, and the only ride, I think, I was actually that obsessed with at the time was this one, which I used to go on when I was a kid. I think I got my mum to, oh, yes, there was a, there was a Whitaker Brothers Seahawk there. Oh, there's another RGM Express, which I don't even think I took pictures of the RGM Express because at the time they were so common. It's just, oh, I did take one picture. Oh, my goodness, I'd forgotten all these were here. They got, got an R.G. Mitchell Splasher there from... That, I think, is the only ride that's still there now is the Ranch Kogan. Oh, and Mickey Mouse is still there as well. Budgie, Noddy there. And that's a horrible picture of me as a 17-year-old. Showing that I was obsessed with rides the entire way through and I was never too cool to pose with a ride. Anyway, <laughs> um, so go back to full screen. So, hope to go to the play centre in Bridlington with an OMC Sam at some point. Um, yeah, that was the that is the um, My Little Pony ride that it's the Gas Man was talking about. So, I think that's probably the only. Um, I think that's probably the only. My Little Pony Ride still around. Right, so Sammy's asking if you can join.
and certainly I can get you to join. I don't know if it's just like a free for all. We're not going to have more than six people at once. We want to join. Otherwise, we just might have to, as I say, take it in turns. Send this link to your guests. So how do I do this? Should I just... Um, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put the link directly in the chat, but obviously if there's a lot of people who want to join, we might, you know, might have to take it in turns. So I'm going to post the link to this in the chat. So I've got a photo of RGM space rides that I could show tonight. Well, I've got the picture of the, uh, <laughs> don't shout at me, you'll all get turned. I don't think I'm in that much demand, Sammy. see if if this works so i haven't i don't i've i don't think i've have i yes i have used stream because I, I used it to speak to you before didn't i sammy so hopefully this is going to work depends what rgm space ride you want to see um callum so how do i add you to the stream hello Hello. Hello. I've got you on here. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, so, um, yeah, as you can see on the chat, huh? someone shouted no at me when I asked if I could join. So I just put, don't shout, oh, you'll get a turn. I don't think, I don't think they want to join themselves. I don't know where we get these funny people from. Maybe, maybe you can. Do you mean no? In fact, you didn't mean no that you can join. He can't say that you can't join. It's my stream. Right. Astro, Z scooter, and Skyrider. Callum wants to see. Of course. Mm. I'll see if I can find uh, a picture of the Skyrider just to that I haven't shown before. I think, to be honest, I think Callum's seen them all anyway, but here's one. Just so other people know what a Skyrider looks like, as if we didn't already. So that's a Skyrider that was photographed in August 1997. I don't know where that was. That was outside the news agent somewhere. I think Callum's probably already seen that picture anyway, but... Right. Remove. And then that's just us. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what to talk about on this stream. It's just uh mm. just a random kitty ride chat. Mm. Uh, I haven't got as many rides filmed this year as I hoped for obvious reasons. Well. I don't think any of us have, have we? Yeah. Just got to hope that next year things are uh, slightly more normal. Morrison's is just being silly, though. Yeah, they are indeed. Oh, Byra is trying to join. Let's see if we can. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I don't think I've never spoken to you before, have I? Yeah. Is my voice coming clearly? Yep, your voice is coming through loud and clear. How oh, are you? Oh, nice. I'm good. Yeah, good. How are you? Very well. I'm now, just now like... Good, our Italian ride expert. <laughs> oh, don't embarrass me much. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked oh, that, um, that article you sent me about ATM. Hmm. Look, I'm not slowing down the stream by putting my camera on. Well, at the moment we seem to be working all right. If uh... you know, I was about to um, suggest another idea about voice coding, but when you discovered that this website was the same one, uh, it doesn't matter yeah. anymore. <laughs> lazy town ride is gone they'll all be extinct soon yeah i think all lazy town rides are becoming 
um, after bed. Oh, oh, where's that? Is that in the nest? Uh, it's just somewhere. It's the um, Rotherham one where they used to have the Jules Cole house. Seem, it still seems strange to me to see foul gas rides in supermarkets. I'm not used to it. Uh, so then I think I've only ever seen one of those. And... I mean, some of them are still photo of me for some reason. Yeah, I think they're kind of sharing the sites, aren't they? So, some are photo of me and some are clear hill. Oh, makes sense because photo of me still supply rice to so. Like, I mean, I mean, they've actually kept replacing them. Yeah. I was I was a bit worried about photo me, but all their ride sites seem to be coming back now. So all the top, all the um, Tesco sites seem to slowly be coming back. So. Yeah. Have you I'm got Jolly Roger you. rides back out at your Tesco's? Yeah, I was going to show you that. Your local one. That Ben Holly one, but I didn't know you already saw it. Oh yeah, I, I remember now. You 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 showed the uh, Ben and Holly, didn't you? Oh, I don't. I think the people on here haven't seen it though, have they? So. Not unless they're in the Hangouts group. Uh, and I found some rides which are, let's just say, not the greatest. Oh dear, where's where's that then? It's, you know the farmhouse pubs from Green King. Yeah. Yeah, and the other round is just like on the bench. Uh n well not really even a ride. Oh go go ponies again. They're everywhere now, aren't they? Yeah, I'm just going to search for some oh let's see if I've got any. <laughs> Don't know if I have Oh. Callum's asking when the Astro Jet was released. I'm afraid I still don't know, Callum. I will let you know as soon as I find out. Okay, so... You know, uh, I'd like to discuss about the Motoy. The bad news yeah. is the Motoy's website just taken down. It's oh. just went for the up to sale. So um, the Wayback Machine works, but... The pictures are, aren't working anymore because the servers got wiped out. It's just so bad. I think what we need to do is save everything that's online, you know, like from the remaining manufacturers' websites. Because I think, can you still get back into the ATM pictures on Wayback Machine? Because they had so many old ride photos that, you know... Uh, it depends on the website because if the website... If the current website still holds and um, able to save it, then we can maybe save it. Otherwise, it will be hard to um, like investigate and find all other rights in the another websites like selling selling websites or informative websites. Yeah. Like uh, like I want to let me test this one. Um, let's see how can I. Oh. I don't know if we can. I just en enabled this screen sharing. I don't know if it's working. Oh, yeah, I see. Hang on. I think it's this uh, one. Yep. See? See what Moto is showing? It's completely yeah, it's there. just a, if just a blank I, page. If I try to from there. See, it's all like, it's, it, I'm just impressed, like, it, it, you'll save the ones, the ver first ones, like 2000 to 2003. Let's see if I show it from here. Just like that blank website, but you can see some, some of rights are also been shown here. 
if mm. my network can go well. So it just it, it was motto it was like listing was before like this so we can also save some files for some photos for me, such as the dumb buggy here yeah see i mean oh, that's it's, so yeah that it's so impressive that the old versions can can be accessible but the ones like let's say um let's say 2000 16 the cur the last last version the last we f we saw oh it went just leader rights like it it um, merged with the leader rights after the motoi if that works let's see just just tries to connect while well, they they'll be working on it i'm just go way little back 14 see the the very last website before it gone to like taken down it's been called as lydia i don't know the reason of it, but you can see it's so beautiful this picture maybe i save this one Oh, it's small. Yeah. See, I mean, it, but the the problem is in this catalog, the lady have made it. It's gone more more. Uh, let's say, it's lesser than the normal ones. Uh, the before version, the absolute, the most important one. You know, I like I like how yeah. they categorize like alpha, beta, delta, depending on the um, the working principle. If that if that not yeah. doesn't work. See if it shows it. Why it doesn't show? See, there are a lot of, but the problem is when you click it on it, it throws it in another window. So, but yeah. it doesn't show us like it doesn't. It, it doesn't archive archive. Yeah, it's like Wayback Machine hasn't archived the picture. Hmm. And if you copy that link, let's say how we can do it. I remember how I did one time. Ah, like that. See, it's just taken down. It, it cannot show the details anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like that. See, this is also working. Just like that. Let's see. It just, I don't know, maybe like they forgot to pay the servers or something, so it just taken down. Maybe it yeah. just abandoned all, forever. Mm -hmm. Well, unless, you know, unless it, I hope it's not gone permanently, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, oh, not good. I mean, I think what we need to do is just save the pictures that are still on there, you know, and because it's so easy for it to all to get lost like that. Hmm. But for Kogan, I surprise it, they are always going, they are still on the de development. Like, you see, Kogan. Um, releasing new rights every day, uh, not like every day, but yeah. once a once a time. Yeah. Uh, should I share it or? Yeah, okay, if you want. Yeah. Okay, share it again. Entire. Yeah. See, and I mean, Kogan just keeps going. Like they are going, doing a pretty good job. Let's say, and to date, the, these ones are the first ones. Is it or no? ah, the latest ones? See, I'm I'm just impressed about this one. Like the same cabinet as the Hello Kitty. 
Hello Kitty. Yeah, it just it names a vintage card. But I don't know if you guys ever saw it, like it's distributed to the arcade, no. arcades. I don't know if no, any I've one not, of I've you not see. Seen that. I presume it, this is quite new, is it? Mm. So it's probably not. It's probably not here yet. Mm. That's I mean, probably what would have been at the EAG, isn't it? But you know, there's no EAG next year, so that's yeah. nice. I like that. I like that. Oh, has it got I a mean, screen on it? Uh, I mean, look at this design. Like all the new, new, new rights are turning to the video game. Like these ones are like they're um, let's say they're turning to the digital rights. Always like yeah. that. But still, they didn't didn't like. Uh, I'm ha having a hard time seeing because my English is not What's that? What's the uh, Disney plane? Disney that is plane? It? Where? This one? Well, there's there's the plane. The plane at the top. It's uh, ah, you know, uh, like you've got uh, the bike and then you've got air just, baby. Yeah, that one. <laughs> like yeah. dusty, but dusty like, is, is it's second like a, version. Yeah, that's why they've just recolored dusty, haven't they? <laughs> well, they seems like they like the cabinet and they wanted to turn into another one, <laughs> like Air Canada's. <laughs> but again, it's got the screen in there. That seems to be their, mm. their new thing, isn't it? But the... they they put video like MP4 video with the buttons or sound screen. Um, let's say. The working principle will be like how we can like maybe go around like that. I can really say, but I mean, this. I mean, it's going it's going differently. I remember you you saw once mm -hmm. the one. Did you see the unicorn castle? I don't know. Yeah. I've I've not seen it like out on site in an arcade, but it was at the um, Autumn Coin Op show, wasn't mm. it? Like this one. This I've I think someone saw saw Princess Fairy Tales. I do remember seeing one. I've seen that. Mm. I mean, <laughs> I've not seen I like it yet. the way way did they implement the buttons? Like it just huge, huge two buttons. <laughs> It just like um, <laughs> they made the game like subway surfers, so it just like runs, running like that. Just impressive, yeah. like like the three D model. <laughs> they they put in it doing a good job. But the the, the thing is, uh, we don't we don't get any Motoy or Kogan rights anymore due of the economy and the distributions are not in the agreement. So we can. Well, I wonder. I wonder. Not without getting political. I wonder what Brexit is going to do for imports from Italy to mm -hmm. you know to Britain. I mean, uh, it's sad because I don't know what will happen. In in here, we we don't get any new rights anymore. It's just like um, maybe the parts of the current ones, like the ones in my channel. Uh, yeah. Also, the ones I recorded in the channel are also gone because there some of the motors got broken. Some of the interface boards are no longer working. It, the lights are slowly oh. dying here. It's a shame. Mm. I wanted to come over there and see all those rides. The yeah, those I, places I mean, where you were filming looked amazing. Mm, I mean, I, I appreciate if you come here because I do want to come here. Maybe um, maybe you can stay here for one or two. My, my family and I will uh, welcome you. <laughs> Well, if ever the world goes back to normal, you know, I'd love to like go internationally and look for different rides in different countries. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of rides. I mean, not not here. Like in the country, there are more more places I didn't go because it's far away and it's somehow costly. So yeah. I, we just trying to survive right now with this COVID. I hope this COVID goes and because. Just this depressing because the people dying, the limitations, too hard. And the thing is, it's the long, it's the long-term consequences of the amusement arcades closing down, and 
you know, what is life going to be like after it? That's the there's so mm. so many so many businesses here are worried now because they told all of Blackpool and Skegness they've got to close down till March. It's, it's <laughs> crazy. It's like, how can they know what the virus will be like by March? Yeah. You know, the surprisingly, there are many, many people are coming from the UK to Cyprus. So, I mean, it's kind of like... That's not strange. Why are they closing down the businesses within our country, but allowing people to go backwards and forwards between countries? <laughs> just, just different. I mean, I can, I can imagine how it would go. Like, I remember one of my, um, let's say, neighbors try to go to the UK for the university, but when yeah. they go there and, and notice that the transports, taxis are like the other close, so they had no choice but come back to the country. And they just went to a seven day quarantine because when you come from the UK to Cyprus, you go into the seven day quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like that. I wouldn't fancy going overseas at the moment with all the quarantining mm. and the, you know, it's just, I don't think I'd like the aeroplanes at the moment. I... Mm, just like that. Like they're coming from airplanes with boats. Just yeah. like that. I'm just happy I got to go over to the seaside at all this year. Yeah. Well, I think, I think I went, I went a few times, but by the by the time when we went to Devon in September it had got crazy because we were having to sign into every arcade for the test and trace and you know it was just taking so long to get in it was like it wasn't worth going in because you know you just want to look look for rides and come out and go to the next arcade <laughs> you're ready to sign in you know like go in here go to this one go to that one and they have a table at the at the entrance and you have to sign into the app or sign your name on the on the uh, sheet so they can contact you if anyone has had COVID in the arcade. Oh, my goodness. It, it, it put you <laughs> off. It was just like, I'd rather stay out on the beach than go in the arcade. So. Uh, <laughs> okay, I will be right back when I take care of business. All right. All right. I need to just find a picture now of an astrojet for Callum, which mm. I promised him. Where's that gone? I don't even know if it's in this. Is it in this? Um, here it is. Because I've been promising this photograph to Callum for goodness knows how long. So let's just show that to him. So this is the astrojet, which I believe was somewhere around Hemsby or Scrapby, Callum, if you're still around. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're still watching the stream, but that is that is it. Yeah. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so. Wait, so that's the Astrojet? That was the Astrojet that Callum's been wanting to see for goodness yes. knows how long. So that's Released his 10th in... anniversary special. <laughs> Released yeah. in who knows when. Because I don't know the release date for it. Released in 2005, if you know who I'm referring to. Oh, um, yeah, what's his name? It was always there. Um, but anyway, so Morrison oh, really? has failed here because they can't even cover up the plugs when the things fall off. <laughs> oh, well. Let's hope that that means that somebody plugged a ride in and, uh, you know, actually used it. <laughs> oh, I've gone. I don't know. I don't know when the rides are going to be switched back on at Morrison's. I think it's crazy that they're, they, they never got switched back on after the first lockdown, did they? My friend also made this meme of the Trumpton ride. <laughs> the Trump ride, yeah. The Trumpton ride. I like that. <laughs> now we need a Boris Johnson ride to go with it. <laughs> but I can't think of a ride, a ride that sounds like Boris. 
Uh, I can't either. No. Nothing goes as well as Trumpton. Oh, it's Is the gas it? man said, why do we even count these go-go ponies and dolphins as rides? They are more like arcade games for toddlers than actual rides. Well, yeah, that's that's true. I suppose they move like rides. That's why I still, I count them kind of like rides, but they're not they're not ride rides in my anyway, opinion. When we said about digital stuff earlier, I mean, I like yeah. it when they go digital, but not when they go like too digital like that yeah well i think it's nice if it's like a feature like um you know like i, I suppose it all started coming in with the rg mitchell dodgem didn't it where they started trying to use software and then mm. yeah it i think i suppose then they didn't really have the technology which is why the dodgems didn't really work but then later on it got too much. It became more like video games with a ride incorporated into them. Mm. It's good when they have video screens. Like, oh. Lisa, I quickly have to say, um, I my network will be gone for a minute, so I will join back when my okay. network's back. Okay. Um, okay. Because, okay, that's fine. um, like. Okay. In, in certain times, my network acting so strange, so it disconnects, then it connects after five minutes. Like, well, so I will... technology amazingly is holding out at the moment, but usually the speakers pack up on this laptop, so uh, we're doing well. Uh, so, uh, so quickly, I will, I will come back after the network comes. Okay, right, we'll, we'll see you then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this Octonauts ride was at a Tesco. It was strangely on in July. I don't know why it was on then. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't think any of them were turned on then. No, well, that one was on, but the bike row, which was usually downstairs, was like upstairs, unplugged and unreachable. So. It's weird that they just keep one on. Doesn't seem to be any rhyme nor reason to it, does it? I mean, that's the mm. that's the thing. So you go to the supermarkets not knowing if they're going to be switched on or not, and it's really frustrating. Um, uh, do you know if Asda ever switched their rides off? I don't know because I didn't go to Asda during the lockdown. Mm. I know when whenever it was that I filmed that Winnie the Pooh and Tigger carousel. I can't remember what month that was. That was, you know, they they were switched on then. Obviously, that's how I filmed it. I didn't switch it on. Um, <laughs> but that was the first time I'd seen a ride like back in Astra. And I don't know if they removed the ride because before the lockdown, they had a foul guest police car there. And so obviously they'd switched the ride round. Uh. Have you been to um, Planet Fun in Inglewood before? Yes, I have. Do you know what like car park that's like, right next to it? Oh, the dark. Yeah. Well, at the side, they had these rides from... Basically, you know across the road, there's like that arcade and bar place. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to remember the... I always get the arcades mixed like up in England. Just though. up the road from Planet... Well, like, down the road from Planet Fun. Yeah. yeah. Like, before... I think I know. So, they had some machines and rides from the... Behind the car park, for some reason. They had some claw machines and these two rides. <laughs> Don't know why. And what they're doing out there? I have no idea. Perhaps they're not working, and so they've just put them out the back. I don't know. I think that's all the ways. I've got a long click check there. Well, David Burgess is saying sorry he's late. Well, you'll be able to watch the... You can watch the stream back after it's finished. You might be able to watch it back when it's, when it's live. I'm not sure if you can... 
but it will be on on here so you'll be able to watch it and i did share my first ever kiddie ride photo earlier so you can look back at that later Yes, I think. And it's the gas man is saying that Asda hasn't plugged their rides in either. Well, our Asda's have. That's what I'm saying. It's, it seems to be different wherever you are in the country. Did you hear about Ethan's new ride? Oh, the Thomas, yeah. Yeah. He's very lucky. Um, this is Tesco Wolf, which is my local one. Got the Troy there as well. Yeah. Uh, well, last time I went, well, we were both working the first few times I went, but the last recent time, they were both plugged in. Troy was working, but even though it was plugged in, Ben Holly wasn't working. Which is strange. I just, I don't, I cannot understand what they're doing with the, with the supermarket rides. It's maybe, maybe something's wrong with the plug then, because it shouldn't be doing that if it's plugged in. Yeah, that's all my ride photos on the phone, as of now. Yeah, I don't know I've got any on my phone, so I'm, that's why I need to share the screen to share what I've got on here. No, I've got nothing on here at all, sadly. Let's see what else I've got on here on this USB drive that might be of interest to anyone. Digital ride photos. That's what we're showing, wasn't it? I couldn't believe all those rides that were in um, Bournemouth in 2008 when I started looking back at those old photos. I can't believe there was a uh, Rosie and Jim there. I don't even remember that being there. Where was that? In Bournemouth. That was outside the outside the arcade there. We've got nothing that exciting down there now. It's all um, Kogan, Hello Kitty, and you know the usual stuff. Yeah. Well, I do have this that Ethan sent me. His two rides together. I think it's lovely that he's got his two favourite rides together like that, and they've got a Christmas tree next to them. They're celebrating Christmas. Oh, yeah. um, right. Uh, just looking now. Mm. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's let's just remove Sammy for the minute because. He's just gone off. What ride are suitable for you, Charlie? Well, I did send you the picture of that uh, fire engine that was made for disabled riders, didn't I? But I don't know where you can find one of them. I think there was there was one at an American theme park, but I don't think any ever actually came to the UK. Although there was one at the amusement trade exhibition in 2002. Yeah, that's what I could actually share because that's what part of my childhood, well, not my childhood story, part of my history of ride story, which I didn't um, mention earlier, was I was so obsessed with kiddie rides when I was a child. And after my mum had been taking all these pictures of me on rides for years and years, we, of course, this was all pre-internet, my mum thought, to start taking down the manufacturers' names off of the kiddie rides and writing to the manufacturers. And she wrote to R.G. Mitchell, and R.G. Mitchell invited me to the amusement trades exhibition when I was nine. I think I was nine. And here's 
a special picture I wanted to share since it's the 10th anniversary. I thought it would be nice to share something that people haven't seen before. And let's see if I can find it. Perhaps it's in the, it might be in, because we went two years, we went two years to the amusement trade exhibition. And someone's ringing me on my phone now. Simon. That's Taj the Arcade Junkie. Hello, I am currently doing a live stream on YouTube, so I can't stay. <laughs> if you want to join it, you're welcome to. <laughs> well, we might get back in the day 44 as a guest then. Uh, is Sammy back? Yeah. I am. Yeah, I'm just looking for a picture that I had taken at the amusement trade exhibition. So I was just telling people that I've got a picture on here, but I can't find I can't find it now. I think it's January two thousand and one then, because this this is oh, was it the Mr. Softy's ice cream van? It's one of the no, it's Hank's ice cream van. Come on, where is it? I should have come better prepared for this. Um. I've just been thinking now. I wonder if the White Rose Shopping Centre in Leeds has still got those rare Rider Entertainment video carousels. Don't know get well, I've if i I'd love to find one of them. If you find one of them anywhere, you know, get video and and proof of it because it's. Uh, I don't think we're going to find many of them anymore. Yeah, they are. Some ones that aren't as common, like on Google Maps, they had Thomas and Pingu. I've never seen the Pingu one, I'd love to see that. Wait, do you know that you've never seen one in person? I didn't know it existed. I've never, well, I knew I, you were the first one who told me that it existed. Obviously, I've looked it up since, but I didn't realize there was a Pingu one. Hmm. I found this on Google Maps at a market. I can't not remember where, but ah, yes, I'm back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um. All right, is is this working? Yep, yeah, I can see you. Hi, David. Oh, hey, Skylark. And hey, and hey. And by the way, this is my mom. Hi. Hi, David's mom. <laughs> hi, How hi are you? all over the world. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like being in the backyard. <laughs> and there, and my dog. That's dog. my dog you're hearing. You hear your dog barking. Yes. He's like, what is all this noise? Okay, go out and take a look. Pingu, where, 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 where was the, where was this right on entertainment? Pingu, Simon's asking, Sammy. Uh, it was at the White Rose in Leeds. I'm going to look it up now because they had it on a 360 view, and hopefully, if it's not been updated, it'll still be on there. I'm not actually sure if it's still there, but. Have a quick look. Yeah, I think everything's changed anyway yeah, over the lockdown because they've taken, yeah. taken, taken, taken the ride, taken the ride away, and, uh, and uh, yeah. you know, changed them over. I can't remember which floor it was on. By the way, I got I got some rare photos on Google Maps. If you want to see it, let me show yeah, pull it that's right up. It's the MK3, look. Oh, hang on. We can't quite see your screen. Turn it more. Oh, turn yeah, it more. See, there's the robot. Yeah, it's a, it's Mark III Amutech robot. And it's Amutech's only manually controlled ride, I think Nigel told me. 
Yeah, it is indeed. <laughs> I've never seen. I, I've seen. I, I, I actually have. I've seen one, and I can't remember where I saw it. And I think one is for sale on eBay UK. Yeah, there is one for sale, but not not somewhere that I can go and visit it, sadly. And besides this, I think it's completely different than the MK1 and MK2. Yeah, it is. It's a completely different design, isn't it? Yeah, but I found two in Pennsylvania. This one right here is in Washington Crown Center, along with an Amutech police bike you see, as well as a Bafco speedboat. We can't quite see the pictures. You you just got to turn the camera in. Oh, hold on. Further. Hang on. There's also a Fred's fire truck. You've got so many British rides over there. I guess Bafco and Amutech were huge in the U.S., yeah, more more Bafco and Amutech rides got exported to America than were than were kept in the UK. Too bad we have no Northern Leisure yet. Only only a Paw Patrol chase from Buffoon Games. Yeah, you know, I think they were just starting exporting more, and then the lockdown happened. So I'm sure after the lockdown is over, there'll be there'll be more Northern Leisure rides there. Let me see. I do have a photo of the Amutech police bike there. Besides, there they have one RGM ride um, and a Bafco speedboat, as well as a South Mountain NASCAR simulator. Yeah. Okay. Um. And here's the police bike. Let me show you. Police bike right here. As well. uh, you turn it a bit more. Turn it a little bit left. More, it. more left, huh? Little more. Can you guys see it? No, you're just you're too close to the screen. Zo oh, zoom out a left. bit. Ah. Ah, okay, yeah. now you can see. You can just about see it. Um, just turn it to left a bit. Left. That way, can you see ah. it now? Ah, it's acceptable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can see it. Yeah, that's a police bike, because they're basically police bikes, unlike beach bikes, were all white, right? Yeah. So I've got a picture of myself on one of them. I must have, but I think, I think there was one at Chessington Theme Park when I was a child. Wait, what? Police bike or a beach bike? A police bike. A police bike, I believe. I was just trying to see if I can find a picture of it, but I think they're more common in the U.S. than the U.K., it seems. Yeah. I think all the Amutech and Bafco rides are. And especially the rare Amutech bug and fairy. And the fairy tale frog coach by Amutech. I think some are still in Chuck E. Cheese. See, I've only ever seen two of those in the U.K. Three, No, three of them. I've seen three of them here. And that's a rare ride. It's a very rare ride. I've only seen so many of them in the U.S. in some existing Chuck E. Cheese locations. And I even found one veteran van. If you want to know where it is, it's in Tucson, Arizona. I need to come and do a tour of the USA and uh, find all the rides over there. Maybe you might find another Voyager. Yeah, so let me see. While while I've got you on here, I'm going to see if I can find the pictures that I took of rides when I was in America. Cool. Glad, I'd love to see it. And by the way, let me see. Here's a veteran van. Let me look at this. Veteran, as well as an Amutech fire engine, you see. It's unique. I, I like the design. Oh, yeah. I, I love the veteran vans. I remember they they were all over the place when I was a kid, and now there's there's none of those left anywhere. But I think what if one, this was the last one? There was one in Morecambe. Um, gee, hang on a minute. Was that? Yeah, that was that was. Was that an Amutech veteran van? I'm trying to remember. So or was it a veteran car? No, it was it was the van, and there was one in Morecambe until three or four years ago, and now it's gone. And I never filmed that. See if I can just. These are the rides that I saw when we were in 
the USA. I think these were in. These That's were in a beach Port bike, Wexington. and there's a Voyager, right? Yep, there was. It was all British rides, and I did, I didn't I wasn't filming back then. I'm That's so a fun bus there, a Rio Grande. Fun bus. That's another picture of the Voyager. And, and then that's they an American Roadster. Yep. This is surprisingly rare. RG Mitchell storyteller, rare. There's a new new in the background in a yeah. space shuttle. My childhood ride at Chuck E. Cheese. My childhood ride. And you knew Bafco Safari Jeep, Bafco. I just wish that I had filmed all of these rides. These were, I don't know what else I, oh, and this was, this and was almost a every, and, I, and, and guess what, Skylark? Only two Chuck E. Cheese's still have new news, I think. I can't believe that new new is so rare now. And I know, I know that Chuck E. Cheese Largo, Maryland still has it, as and Sacramento, California still has one. Probably all Stamar refurbishments. Uh, the good old point. <laughs> um, I forgot the name again. Yeah, it's, this this is quite a rare one, though, isn't it? It's not the regular. We have the same. Rare. We have the same exact the um the black one. If you see you see all my in my read. Yeah. The, I, the black. I've never seen this in the UK. This one was. I'm trying to remember where in America it was, but it was. They had that, and they had the ranch coke and. You know, I found two space copters. I found one in another Chuck E. Cheese. Look, space copter. Hang on. Let's just string Let this down. See. As well as a memo oh, uh, park. Johnny Little. Block. Left. Yeah, it was just too far to the right at the moment, David. Oh, sorry. Go down, bitch. Go down. Can you guys see it? Just yeah. about. There's, yeah. a, there's a space drop to there. No, unfortunately, our, our pony, po um, I forgot again, the, they changed the soundboard because it was got broken and you you might heard the carousel one, if you remember in my video. Yeah. You mean the Amutech carousel? No, no, it's, it's another Kagan carousel. I was meaning Amutech. Oh, sorry. Because I was talking about like the Pony Express. Yeah. Because we were looking I, at these Kogan rides that were in the US. That's Italian like Memo Park, isn't it? Memo Park? Um, yeah, but mostly like Motoi and Kogan. And automatic, don't forget Automatic Toys Madonna. Yeah, that one too. The Amitech trolley seems to be more common too in the US too. Hmm. So is the circus van. Yeah, I have only ever seen one circus van here. And you know, Mr. Paul Flying Polygram filmed the circus van and St. Augustine yeah. Premium Outlet. It's crazy how many old and rare British rides you find over there. Maybe you might find some on eBay or maybe at a collection in the UK. Okay, I think I know where I've got a picture of And you know, we never got the Amutech Brum. We got a vintage car instead. Yeah, I've never seen the vintage car over here. So I've only ever seen Brum. Basically, vintage car is a non licensed Brum variant. Yeah. But I think the vintage car was sold in the UK. I've got a leaflet for it that was at I think the Brum is more common trip. over there than in the yep. US. Far more, far more common. Simon's asking you if there are many turtle copters over there, David. Have you turtle seen the copters, Bafco? Yeah. Have you seen any of those? I've seen I've seen a picture of it and like and let me see. Turtle, Lakeview Square Mall has one. I think it's either rocking or hydraulic. Look, there's also a mini train as I showed you. I can't see it again. Just need to turn, turn the camera turn right it. to the left. Turn it left. Yeah, that's ah, it. Yeah. 
somehow it reminds me of the takeaways one maybe takeaways stole from the, from that one and uh, this this was based on the playmates toy i think hmm. yeah because i think the turtle comfort was never in the show i think Sorry. Still searching for that picture of the Pindu Rice for saying. I think it's on my computer. After all, I think if in the US you might find a Voyager with with you know good sound original sound than faulty. Yeah. And mystical flying polygram filling the Bafco speedboat. But he mistakenly mistook it as a Voyager. Yeah, there's. I, well, I suppose it's a similar shape, isn't it? Yeah, but funny thing, and that falter and a Facebook and a Voyager mystical filmed was faulty. Yeah, that's the trouble with the old rights. A lot of them are faulty, but it's and better what, to find a faulty one than none at all. Yep, and by the way, um, what what sound do Babka Rise mostly use? Scanwar Electronics or Integrated Technology Soundmaster? Soundmaster is usually used in Babka, isn't it? And I think I found a rare video with, um, let me see, with the Voyager in action with the original sound. Let me see, I have it in my liked videos, I think. Let me see. I think I have it saved. I wonder what happened to your liked videos, though. YouTube completely got rid of that, so I can't find them again. Hang on, what's happening here? Oh, Callum's trying to join the stream. Hi, Desiree. Hello. I don't think I've ever spoken to you. It's nice to hear your voice. Um, I have autism. I think most of the ride community have got autism, so you're in good company here. May I be able to see pictures of the Rondina helicopters? I'll see if I've got one for you. Um... And by the way, I found... Um... Hold on, hold on, back in the day. Oh yes, I found an MKC Designs Mini Wheel at Fun Spot. MKC. Preferably a red one. See if I can find one. I'm trying to remember look, when. Take a look, this is at Fun Spot in New Hampshire. They have an MKC Mini Wheel. So what do you think? This is a mini wheel at fun spot. Hang on, where is it? Oh yeah, I see. And they also have an Esco Seascape too, which is 1950s, I think. Oh, I saw the picture that you sent me in my messenger of that. That's a nice vintage ride. Yeah, I think Esco really was American. Ride. Yeah, that was an American ride. I don't know much about vintage American rides, sadly, but... Well, Keys Manufacturing is a good start. They made some three Sesame Street rides. It was a Spider-Man copter and mobile. Yeah. Didn't Foulgas also refurbished the kitties? Spider-Man helicopter? Oh, I can't find my picture of a Rondina helicopter now. This is not very Rondina, good. Rondina? That used to be at Showbiz, didn't it? Yeah, it used to have a lot of Rondina rides at Showbiz Pizza. 
And I think Chuck yeah. E. Cheese as well back in the day. Yeah, and also known as Pizza Time Theater. They all Pizza Time Theater also had an Amutech robot, didn't they? Yep, they did. I think they had a lot of Amutech and MKC stuff. They had a lot of Whitaker and Rondia. Anime Disney. Yep. Let me see. Ducky Cheese and Fluid back in the day had Amutech, Rondia, Bafco, and Whitaker, right? And MKC. Yeah, they had all the British rides there. What did you and say? I think Alex? I saw Clown Seesaw <laughs> from Automatic <laughs> Toys Madonna. Hold on, hang on. Straights from back in the day. RG oh. Mitchell ones. Um, well, I remember the, the Spacewalker astronaut and um, the Astrojet and the Sky, the sky um, Rider or Space Scooter. Of course, there's a Sea Scooter as well because that's, that's like a space ride. Yeah. So what part of the astrojet is meant to be? It's a oh, rocket. I think Ron, kind, isn't it? Ron Dia rides are hard yeah. to find nowadays. What's, yeah. What's the base of the astrojet? Yeah, it's, oh. on, it's on like a, a space, uh, something like a space themed, like a rocky base, isn't it? It was the base that um, the spacewalker came on originally. So if we see below it, is it? Um, <laughs> Rubber it's like a planet. It's like planet round, isn't it? It's like rocks, like like the surface of the moon. And you see the bit that puts the, the ride up. Was it covered in rubber or leather? By the way, guys. That. By the way, guys. This is what I have for my fair organ records. Look, fair organ records. What noise oh. did that Jake make? Hold on. Look at my records so far. Fair organ stuff. There's someone else is trying to join there. I don't know who this is. Hello? In, in the sound of Ethan's friends, I think... Cause that's Zach. Robot. That's my, my builder in Roblox. Yeah. Okay. We we had a sea scooter days a day. Well, Welcome there was aboard, one Zach. The top of, there was one at the top of our ride. In, uh, in the top of our ride. Top of our road. In... Um, well, his his yeah, microphone's so. muted, so he, he can the hear. You remember? I want, I'll go ahead and ask him right now. I wonder if Zach can zoom in. Let me hold on for a second. I found it, the astrojet comment. Well, there's a lot of astrojet. Right, here comments. we go. What's this? Yeah, I, I, that typing in here is me trying to contact Zach, because after all, he's my best friend in Roblox when I build rides. Yeah, not 2004, no. What places, Desiree, did you find the NASA rockets? Oh, they were almost in Mother Care, and also outside Tesco. One of our local Tesco's had, had a NASA rocket outside. But, and of course, the arcades, they were, they, they were everywhere for a while. Um, we've still got one. And There's I imagine if Amy Peck and Bafco were still around, would they would the ride still be as common? Well, I think I think they would. I think if there were still more British companies around, more amusement arcades would buy British rides, because I think it's going to get more expensive now to import Italian rides after when we're leaving the European Union at the end of the year. So I think British rides will be more popular again. Yeah, and in Arizona, and what's the? I think Showbiz and Pizza Time Theater had rides mostly Rondia, Whitaker, um, Bafco, Amutech, and Automatic Toys Madonna, right? Yeah, they they seem to have. I mean, I obviously never went there, but you don't see many American rides in those in those restaurants, oh, do you? Wait, was Rondia American? No, Rondina was Italian. Mm, someone's just left. Oh, yeah, I don't exactly want the, the and they made hydraulic rides, right? Which space ride was made by Eddie Brooks? Amitech, well, that's a company. All the, no, Eddie, Eddie Brooks was the company that BAFCO took over, so they made all the, the supercar and 
the sea scooter. They made all of the um, the Bafco futuristic rides, like all the space rides that Bafco made. And then Bafco bought them out, and they started making Eddie Brooks rides. But actually, the Eddie Brooks rides were made by a company called Fibercast, and Eddie Brooks was just selling Fibercast rides. Um, so De- Desiree Foot ride. So see the the Dracon ride. Have you ever seen a hydraulic one? I don't think I have actually ever seen one in in real life. I've seen pictures of them, obviously, but I don't think I've ever. And seen a Babco one. biplane is rare, isn't it? I've there were two of them on Claremont Pier in Lowestoft biplane, but they were the last ones, and that the one that I filmed for the one that I filmed for. Um, YouTube a few years ago. That one's gone now, but that was the last one I knew of. But when in the eighties was the Astro Jet roughly made round about? I don't know. It must have been late eighties because I think the um, I think it was after the Astronaut, which was eighty five. So. And by the way, um, this look what I have on my record collection. Look, record. Oh, you got your record collection. Plan to get more for Christmas. Don't know if the lockdown will lockdown will cause delaying. I'm not sure. I don't think it will cause a delay to the postal services. They, I mean, the postal services have gone on throughout all the lockdowns so far, haven't they? So. Oh, by the way, besides this, off. look what I have my DVDs. Look, DVDs. Oh, oh, Sammy, are you, are you trying to say something, Sammy? I think. Yeah, I think. I Booba, I used to have... Oh, you got Booba DVD. And oh. and this is what I get for my birthday, look. What is it? I can't quite... It's see. a Booba DVD. We can't quite see which Booba DVD it is. It's called Hot Dog. Uh, I had one and it was actually... And this is what it contains. Um, Hot Dog, Musical Instruments, Yellow Woolly Sweater. I remember Boo Bars, but I don't think I ever actually watched them, so. Mm. That was on CITV over there. Here, we got it on PBS, as you see. I actually had an American Boo Bar DVD, but it was like a copy one that some felt I remember. And uh, this is the American DVD of Naughty Nunu, as you see. Got tell so, each other. I actually that is on my birthday. Movie. It's been a while. I watched Teletubbies in lifetime. I saw Teletubbies in 2004. It was removed after then because the season end. They aired on PBS from 1998 to about 2008. I think a good 10 year run. Mm. I mean, I liked it when, when I was a kid. I liked it very much. So. Desiree, what was the beast that the no, sea scooter had? It's just the regular R.G. Mitchell column base. See the column base? Yeah. What other rides used the column base? All, all of the R.G. Mitchell rides, all the animal rides and uh, super sprint race and car that we were looking at on here earlier. So is uh, why is Flounder see, so see rare? Flounder. Make the, make the ride go. I don't know why Flounder was so rare. I think. Yeah, I mean, it was like 1990s or 2000s when that was made. 1998, Flounder came out. I don't. Well, why is it so rare if it's that recent? I don't know. I suppose it just wasn't popular, and not many were sold. And um, Mystical found a rare Sooty in the U.S. Sooty. Sooty, yeah. Um, also Sooty. made by Archie Mitchell in the 90s, yeah. right? 96 city was city was common right here but maybe it wasn't as popular in america mm. maybe because it never aired in there maybe yeah so i suppose that's the thing isn't it it depends what characters are popular in mm. different countries see see the the base of the scoot see scooter mm. yeah of course we got budgie underneath. on fox kids but i don't think we ever got jimbo well oh, it's, it's i'm interested in bases like... as well Sorry, I can't, I can't really, I think Jimbo is even rarer than Budgie in the US. Mm. I didn't say like, it's weird because they seem to get loads of like fetch the vet rides at Chuck and Cheese, even though it only aired in the UK. 
yeah, fetch the vet is quite it was quite common in America, wasn't it? And the ride. Yeah, I think some Chuck E. Cheese's or malls still have fetch the vets. Yeah, but the TV show was 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 the TV show Fetch the Vet ever shown in America? Well, I think it's so. CITV only. I think. So it's strange that the ride, you know, sold to America, but but the TV show never aired there. That's I don't. I think we got Dream Street on Nick Jr. as well as Bananas in Pajamas. Yeah, I know I got Bananas in Pajamas. If I was this the. The Skyrider released, did he? Really... That was early 1980s. I'm not sure the exact year, but it was early. It was early 80s, probably 83 or 84. And and, and by the way, I've seen some them. U.S. locations with the fun to learn bear in the big blue house boat. Well, uh, yeah. That well, I remember watching it on it. Disney. Sorry, to interrupt. Well, not yeah, an but, American but, production but, but, but anyway, though. Did the Skyrider have in which uh, other rides? Well, that, the Skyrider was either on the column base or it was on that kind of hybrid base that's half R.G. Mitchell and half Edwin Hall. So you get like the Edwin Hall back to front coin column. We had them. To the, well, they were everywhere. Like that one that I showed you earlier on here was outside the news agent. Well, they're, in they're in Tesco. They're in Tesco. And according to a recent photo on CDM Group, I saw a Captain Pugwash. That might be even rarer than Sudi. Yep. Well, they uh, might choose the hybrid base, Desiree. Well, there was a there was a bike. There was tracks to bike. Um, what other rides were on that base? I can't actually That's no what bike? Was that No, a, a, a tracks to bike, which was a, like a old R.G. Mitchell bike. I'm trying to remember what other rides were on the hybrid base. I actually can't think what else ever went on that base. I see the the gators on the bottom. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they were made of though. Were they were they, were they the black leather? Probably. I don't know if they were leather or rubber. Yeah, other than that is other than that desert he is. Other rides that I'm talking about is see the Rondina helicopter. Yeah. What kind of helicopter? Did it have did it have a a button to press on it. I remember them having like a lever that, you know, made them go up and down. Wait, wait, was that the Rondia helicopter? The Rondina helicopter. I, I can't remember if it had a button inside or not. I know it made sound effects, so I suppose it must have had a button. Maybe like Bandit at 6 o'clock, like the Bafco helicopter or Space Copter. How it says, Bandit at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, that's. I don't think that the Rondina one did that. I think it just made laser sounds. And, yeah. Because I and noticed there was once a Bafco had... hydraulic helicopter in mall, now gone. And it played yeah. space copter board. Yeah, well, that's strange, isn't it? But I suppose it's better than updating it with an Ellie Tech board that, you know, plays some strange music or some other, other than, random thing. Other than, other than the sky, right? Enjoy the ride, the kids. Board. In the day, other than Skyrider, what else was in Tesco's? RGM Expresses, sports races, veteran vans, tractors, um, and of course all the animals, you know. Um, Sandy the donkey, Rocky the horse, all those. And Jumper. Only, What rides do you remember at Tesco, Callum? And we didn't have so much Tesco's in the early It's 90s. been a long since I've been in the UK and went to a Tesco. I don't know what rides were there. Probably I never. Remember, I remember an Astro. I had an Astrojet. So I, I've never seen an Astrojet at a supermarket. I only ever remember those two. The one at Filey, which you um you remember yourself, don't you? The one at Filey. I don't have um, seen pictures of Filey. Oh, I thought I thought you'd been to Filey. I had been, but didn't see the ride. And other than that, is um, we rides. Um, what was an RGM helicopter that went up and down? Oh, that. Um, yeah, no, it's the mini mini copter, isn't it? We had one. It's, it's one of them outside. I th I think it was Budgeons. It's Budgeons. 
Um, what, beast, what beast did that have? Well, I don't know, because my mum took a picture of it and cut the base out of the picture. I can't remember. Because some of them were on that same Astrojet spacewalk base, and some of them were just on an ordinary hydraulic base. Like, a, a, you know, quite a plain hydraulic base. And other rides that I'm seeing as, as our GM had, so... Okay. Well, I mean... So, so yeah, back in the day, forty four has just told me about a, a Captain Pugwash, you know, but I, but I worry about shipping and all that. Yeah, it's quite other costly than, for getting a ride. Other than Tesco's and the news agent, was that the only places you remember the the Skyrider? Well, they were they were at arcades. They they were everywhere that had rides. When was the last time you saw one? Well, I'm going to come off for now. I got to put my phone on charge. Okay. Well, it's been nice okay. to talk to you, David. No problem, really? Skylark. Nice have to have a good night. You. It's four. It's four twenty-six p.m. right now. So have well, a good night. It's nine twenty-six here, sir. So it's, it's a Five hours as predicted. Five hours as predicted. All right. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you Bye. too. Uh, All right. Bye. 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 Desiree, were right. you ever in an in-shop centre with a ride? What? An in-shop centre. In-shop. Oh, I don't know what. I'm trying to think what. I'm sh I don't remember ever seeing, um, what do you call them, space? Oh, Sky Riders. I don't remember ever seeing them in shopping centres. I think that was before, before my time they were in shopping centres. But oh, by the time I was a kid, it was all the, the fancier R.G. Mitchell rides, like the, the Toy Town Police and the Toy Town Nursery, nursery Car and um, those kinds of rolling road rides were all in the shopping um, centres. Did back in the day have a, have a Sky Rider? I think he did. You know, I'd, it, we need him to talk to us. But he's just chatting in the, in the chat button. And Hurry up and type back, Simon. <laughs> oh, and... speak of Simon, I've got some good news. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I found that picture of the Pingu ride. Okay, it, we it need was, to see it then. It was saved on my computer. So. Alright, here it is. Oh, yeah, I see. It's like the... Um, Bob it's Bob. like the Bob the Builder one, isn't it? It's the same... Same so, colour as Bob the Builder one. There is a Thomas one, if I can find it. Uh, yeah. And that one's in purple. Have you ever seen a Thomas one before? Well, I knew it existed because I'd seen it on their website back then, but I never saw it. The only ones I ever saw were that um, Fireman Sam and Bob the Builder one in Westfield. Hmm. Was this a Maybe the last website? place you saw her on Dina Helicopter. Well, the last Rondi in a helicopter I saw was in um, Pagham, Pagham Amusements before that one went. I wish I'd tried to film it, but I didn't know how to operate it going up and down. Um, so, was this a on the website? Well, uh, I think the Tom, I think the Thomas one was on Rydon's website. No, I mean, was like Pingu on the website. I don't. Well, I never, I'd never heard of Pingu till you told me you'd seen that picture. I'd never. I never knew it existed. Well, to be honest, I never knew the Thomas or Pingu ones existed until then. I thought it was just Bob and Fireman Sam. I think Bob and Fireman Sam were the more common ones. I don't think any of them were made in huge numbers. But you see, again, I think they're quite strange rides because, you know, it's more about watching the telly than it is about the ride because the ride itself looks, you know, it's a bit strange, odd, really, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, but no one um, makes me wonder if they ever made any of any other entertainment Other shows. characters, I don't know. Did you ever see any old RGM rides in market, indoor markets? Maybe that's, um... I don't, I don't remember many rides in indoor markets when I was a kid, but I suppose we didn't really go in them. I'm, I mean, it was really in, in more recent times, like... I now know that Mablethorpe Market had 
about five or six rides at the back, but I never knew about them. And I saw a picture online. Of course, they're gone now. But. Um, other than that, what colour was the Astro Jet just red? Desiree was the Astro Jet red? Yeah, the Astro Jet was red. And I think they did them in white as well. Uh, so I'm enjoying. Simon, well, Simon said, how does he join? I don't know if he's going to join or not. I have sent mm. that link to him two or three times now. No. We're down to six viewers now. I think if everyone's bored with us. Mm. We had about 17 at the start. I just thought what rides there could be carousels of, which just a thought. I'm not sure if they actually would be. I'll speak to you later, Desiree. Maybe there's a oh, it's, it's nice to nice to meet you, Callum, because I've, I've would never you, spoken would you, to you. Would you do more, more of these again in StreamYard? I'd, uh, yeah, I think I will do more streams. If more yeah, people I, I like also join. I, I enjoy chatting with you, you, you people. Thanks. <laughs> Bye-bye, Desiree. Bye. <laughs> Mm. No, uh, let's say, let's see if he's going to join. <laughs> I think mm. he's, I think he's just hold, holding out on us. He doesn't, he doesn't really intend to join. He's just uh, <laughs> pretending he doesn't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if if it's okay, I want to change the topic a little bit. Okay. Uh, what's your what's your take on the Zamperla lights? If I spell it correctly, yeah, Zamperla. Zamperla. I, I, like some of them. I like some of them. Yeah, I I do also like the models of it because it it oh, really. Hello. Uh, one on one. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah, so you got a nice drink. We all okay? We all good? Is everyone good? Yeah. We're talking about Zamperla rides. Ride. Yeah, well, the last time no, the ride I saw was the, the dog that you filmed at Gulliver's. Oh, yeah, yeah, that big, uh, spotty, big, uh, big dog, yeah, big car too, Garfield looking dog, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm I like that, I like that, that cartoon -y mule or horse or whatever it was that was released that same year with the sombrero one. I like some of their rides from that era. I think I was getting a bit big to ride rides by the time Zamper the rides came here, but oh, someone else trying to join. I don't know who this carousel, is. Was that carousel one as well? That carousel that was at the same. Uh, yeah, the, with the little tiny, with the little. Okay. Uh oh. Who really done without that? <laughs> Bam. Who was? Who was, who was that? Who knows? But they're gone. <laughs> I think it's something to do with you. You've, uh, you've brought them in with you. I have not. <laughs> I'm in a car, I'm a van driving. That is nothing to do with me. Oh, who, was, who was that? Who was that then? Who was I that? don't know. It wasn't a name I knew. I'm not letting anyone else in who uh, we no, don't know. Like. This is all new to me. Can you, so can you control then who, who can come on? Who, oh, I can, yeah, yeah I can control. control. But all I've got, you see, all I've got is a name. So I don't oh, know I, if it, I can't believe that, you know. I can't believe that just came up. Well, you know, that's, I don't know what, I'm gonna, I don't know what we're going to do about that now, because I wanted to read this up afterwards. Wait, has something happened while it was gone? Something very rude just got posted. Sammy's all right. <laughs> you're very lucky if you missed it, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy, you're very lucky. It was so unfortunate. I don't know. They're banned now, anyway. It was some idiot, I'm not sure about that. Well, someone else was trying to join at the same time, so they must have arrived together, but he got it's banned just well. It's toxicity. It's always like that. Like some kid comes and uh, trolls it because it's so just what, for so fun. We've got, we've got Sammy. Is this Sammy in the corner then? Just remind me on YouTube. Is it Sammy? Jamster YT. Jamster oh, YT. Oh, pleased to meet you. Lovely. And then who's in the corner? Biray. Who's um, Biray? What? Yeah, but... I don't actually know. How do I pronounce your name? Um, Kitty Wright and Arcades of North Cyprus. Yeah. 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 
I mean, I'm mostly interested in the Italian oh, rights. I can hear you really well, Desiree. I can hear Sammy. I can't, not, I can't hear the other guy, but... Uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. It's good. I, I like this. It's good. I mean, it's interesting because it because we got white white um like white variation of Italian, right? So, hmm. So, are you still there, Sammy? He's just muted himself. All right. Where's Cameron? Uh, what was? Ah, uh, what was your name again? I did you hear? I. Callum's gone. Yeah, Callum's gone. Callum's gone, and um, what, David's what, what gone. Was that even, what was the name that came up there when that when that came up there? I don't know. It was Ju Juniper, Juniper, someone or other, and there was another one, Derpy Dump. Well, I thought Derpy Dump sounds like a, a fraudulent <laughs> one. I wasn't letting him in. <laughs> it makes it makes you it makes you wonder who it is, doesn't it? it does make you wonder. Okay, I've it does make you wonder. What I miss. Um... Oh no! Okay. Why did Why did you go back and look at it, Sammy? You know. Oh, oh no! You didn't need to see it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I, I, I thought it was like, something like, bad. I hope your family oh, wasn't. I know you'll be I, for life now. I hope your yeah, family no, wasn't you with you. Somebody decided to uh, jump on and. Put I'm just down. upset because I wanted to wanted to leave this up, but now I'm going to have to. I'm gonna to have to get rid of it afterwards because you know. Can't Sammy, I, I, hope, I hope your can't, family can't, wasn't can't wasn't with you. Can't take it out or anything. No, um, oh, I don't. I don't know. Can if you can edit a bit out? Can you? I yeah, you know. can trim videos. Yeah, you can, can't you? So I can just trim that bit out. <laughs> oh, uh, that's yeah, good. It, 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 it was really. Oh, and this is what. Oh, oh, Ethan's obviously seen what's happened. <laughs> well, to be fair, you didn't know what it was, so you just went back to look at it, you know. But yeah, you can trim things out. But, um, is Ethan watching then? Yeah, he, he must be because he said that. Um, can we get Ethan on? Can we get Ethan on? Is Ethan, is Ethan available? Ethan, Ethan's not commenting. Is, is Ethan doing his own um, screen? I'll ask you to join now. Um, you know, I like to meet with someone. Let, let me see, let me see if I can find the channel. Well, Callum, um, is, is Callum still knocking about? I've got Callum somewhere, or I'm somewhere, someone like that. Um, <laughs> we can only get six on at a time, anyway, so we have to take it in turns. That's why I'm not adding it. I'm not adding any more uh, weird names. There's plenty of <laughs> plenty of decent people I'm out sorry, there. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I can't believe. I can't believe that. I feel bad that I just popped on and that popped on straight up. I don't think it was. I don't think it was anything to do with you. It oh, was oh, unexpected. Oh, oh, he said, "Let me see if I can get on." Okay. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not. Um. Yes, also, yes, yes, I thought he and Jack were on their own stream, but I don't know. They were, but not. But I don't oh, know. Yeah, it's ended yeah, yeah. now. Um. Yeah. But anyway. Um, Simon, you wanted to see that Pingu ride? Yes, please, yeah. Is it there? Have you got it? Have you got it on the... Yeah, yeah, see, if this is what it looks like. It's not the OMC one, it's like a ride on entertainment one. Oh, right. the carousel, or what is it? It's yeah, one the like the Bob the Builder and Simon Sam one that's just like, oh, you right. just go around watching TV screens, but I never saw one of them. And this is in White, White Rose in... White Rose in Leeds? Yeah. Have you took a film of it before or not? No, you filmed it. No, I, I never, I never saw it when I went. I just saw it on Google Maps. Oh, All right, the... where, Sammy, Sammy, where, whereabouts do you live in the UK? Whereabouts are you? Are you up north or whereabouts are you? South Yorkshire. North Yorkshire, eh? No, where South about, Yorkshire. Where, I, 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 Yorkshire. Yeah, don't, oh, yeah, don't ask, don't ask for personal details. It's weird, as they are. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no but I, I travel, I travel, I travel up to Yorkshire well, twice a week, so I'll, uh, I'll try and get to Leeds. I've looked at that ride, so I can film it. Yeah, definitely. I'll have a look. Um, I've got, I've got a lot of rides up in Yorkshire, well, Bradford and Leeds, rather. So yeah, I'll try and look at it. I'll try. I'm definitely, I don't definitely like not Mansfield. I, I live in Mansfield. Yeah, but I travel with my job. I travel up with the rides. I travel all the way up. 
um, as far as Cumbria and then back down, Blackpool, Lancashire, um, East West Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, all around there. Uh. That Marge of Oxbude Stone Child is speaking to you. I don't know. I don't know what right. they're asking. They just, this, they're just writing in the chat. This is well at least. Back in the day, do oh they're, they're asking you to film a mini fire truck kiddie ride by Eunice Games. I don't think. I don't know where we're supposed to find one of them anyway. So. Oh, what, a mini fire truck. Mini fire truck kiddie ride by Eunice Games and total drift photo ride by Eunice Games. Total drift photo. Now that name is interesting. I, I want to see that. I know it's two or three. Oh, oh, that you one. Go, I you understand. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Can't film anything. Go anywhere and do anything. Well, a lot of it's all closed down till March now. So uh, Ethan said, "Give him eight minutes." Okay. Eight minutes. <laughs> exactly. Mr. Buzz and Mr. Thomas. Is this total? Is this total what, drift? I'm actually really glad he's got an RG Mitchell Thomas rather than a Jolly Roger one. It's all right, but again, I know, I know they're still as common as both clubs common as each other. But it's nice that I mean, really, he's better off with an RG Mitchell one. So he's got more, more, more sound effects. It's nice, isn't it? At least now he's got that little test screen keyboard. It's nice. Mm. Very proud of you. Sir. Very proud of you. Good ride. Good solid RG Mitchell ride. Last forever. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's not COVID, yeah, I promise. Yeah, <laughs> no, don't worry. It's not going to spread is. through the screen anyway. We must. No, I know it won't. <laughs> mm. Do you ever go, Sammy, do you ever go anywhere near Bradford on your travels? Um, well, I've been, if you're on about West Yorkshire, and I've been to Wakefield. Right, okay, cool. If you ever get a chance to go to Bradford, I've got, uh, well, that, me and somebody else has got a lot of rides in Bradford, a lot of rides. There's um, Scuffy the Plane, um, I've got, oh, I've yeah. uh, I'm in Tech Roller Coaster, in the Oscar Centre and the Kirkgate and Keith Centre, is, well, between us we've got about 25, 30 rides all together there. So if you ever get a chance yeah, to go to see there, quite a lot of, see you there. Yeah, there's a lot of videos of the rides at that. It's like market and shopping centre, it's on Google Maps. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the best mm. moment, obviously, not, not, not there at the moment, they're all in storage, but obviously, when everything comes back to normal. Uh, do you have any rides in Huddersfield? No, not in Huddersfield. Well, no. Not, uh, Huddersfield's probably the one place in Yorkshire I've not spent a lot of time in there. No. About the about the one place I've been to Halifax plenty of times, but Huddersfield seems to avoid that. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Avoid that. Um, but no, um, my thing's mainly in Bradford. And uh, I think, well, uh, Keithley, still, still class as Bradford to Keith. Keely, Keithley, whichever way you say it. Um, hmm. I'm sure I've got some. Desiree needs to get her. Um, go down in the deer bed, don't you? Okay. Yeah, I need to find a site for it. As long as it's still, as long as it's still in the storage, you know, and hasn't been sold off. I'll send. I'll send. <laughs> I'll send a picture to it. I'll send you a picture again. I'll, I'll go. I've got the turtle helicopter to get sorted. I've got all the other other rides to get sorted as well. So. I've been doing all my oh. all my big big talk about all my my history and rides and my current rides. You know, I've got my got my little uh, business card here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably should, shouldn't have flashed that, should I? Because I've got the contact details on it. I'll be I'll be getting some strange people <laughs> contacting me now. Mm. I've seen it on that on the chat that dumpy the whatever is calls put something on. He's put hello. Oh. Yeah, what I don't. I didn't see that. I that. Well, I don't, I, of course, I don't know that that's that is a bad person, but I presume it is because it arrived at the same time. Um, that, that, the, the other one, that other one put, uh, well, the, no, yeah, the, 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 thing that, the, the thing that came up said JJ on, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I and remember that was, right. Oh, what's, what's, what's that? Wait, you remember it? I remember the space car. It's made by 
Electromag uh, I can say Electromagnetics, yeah. Uh, I we have the same oh, exact one in the card ray. I need to record it one day. Space car, it's called. It was a. Mm. All right. It's a, a simulation game. It's a simulation game. Yeah. We have. I. It was at Super Bowl in Kimberworth with a. Yeah, you, you gave me your film of it, didn't you? In the yeah, in the lockdown when I'm short of films. All was right. it? Wait, did I film? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you filmed it, didn't you? And was it with the Noddy or when Noddy had gone? Well, I did didn't see Noddy in the film. I don't know if he was set, if he was elsewhere in the uh, no, no, actually, I think people just knew he was there from the other video. Um, yeah, first Noddy went, then this stayed, and now this is. Barney Let me get my phone. Is that quite old? It's about sure. it's about fifteen or twenty years old. I think it's about two thousand and three or something. All oh, right. So yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> okay. Mind your serve. That's quite new. I'm just about to get that picture up of that Spilsby train in Mexborough. In Mexborough? Oh! Spilsby train? Oh! That, yeah, we sold that. I think we, is that side a news agent? No? Yeah, yeah, it's like... I think it's called Everyday News. Yeah, is it a red train? Or is it blue one? It's orange. Orange? Wait, I, I'm just getting. Just hang on, I'll put you the other one. Right. Here it is. Orange, red, I don't know what. Oh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah. Like red, red, red one, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, my well, one. Um, I didn't sell that. We. Well, Carl the guy who had the. Um, who had, who had bought a lot of the spills rides off. He sold that to them. Um, well, God, years ago. Well, good, well, good, probably five, six, seven years ago. So, like, maybe it's longer than that, actually. Maybe, maybe they ten years ago, yeah? It's still there, is it? It's still there working. Yeah, last time I went, it was there, yes. I've got one in, uh, well, it's not, it's not your, well, it's not really yours, it's John. It's Doncaster. I thought, no, 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 it's not, I'm lying to you. Where's mine? Oh, it's Barnsley. I've got one in Barnsley outside the shop. Barnsley. Say Doncaster. Doncaster. Where's Doncaster? Doncaster's just down from, uh, is it still Yorkshire? Yeah, it is. It's off your yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, it's, sorry, no, don't guess, we didn't wait in Barnsley, so a bit further, a bit further towards me. Um, wait, what? It's outside. Why in Barnsley? It's outside, hold on. Okay. Uh, Deborah, Deborah, Deborah Orr, uh, charity shop. Yeah, the Morrisons in Barnsley. Go to the Morrisons in Barnsley and cross the, cross the big jewel carriageway road. It's just in the town centre bit there, on like, on like the main high street there. It's still there. Is it nearly Alhambra? It's on 26. Uh, Sorry? Is it nearly Alhambra? In Barnsley? Uh, don't, it might be, I'm sure. I know you cross the road from the, from the Big Morris and you hit the, like the high street there and it's literally one of the first few shops there. Deborah. Deborah Org Charity Shop. D B R A dot org. It's been there for years, I've all died. And it's on twenty P and it's uh <laughs> it takes a long time to fill up. Let's <laughs> put it that way. Mm. Ethan's here, Ethan, yeah. is Ethan live? Ethan. Yeah, well, Ethan's here, but I think he's still muted. Yeah, so. uh, the market's just got this Rory, it's owned by first only. Rory. Oh Rory. That's at Mexborough. Alright, oh, okay. I finally one found the picture here. that I was trying to find earlier. This is the uh, picture of me with, with Robin Mitchell. 
I mean, he doesn't know oh, that wow. he's yeah, in the pit yeah, river. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. realise that he was in the background, but... What, what year was that then? That'd be 2000... 2000 and, um... That was 2001. About an hour late with that, but... <laughs> I'm just pugwash. Oh, There's the Hanks. Yeah, it was the Hanks and the pugwash we all came out that year. Actually, oh, no, Ethan's pugwash was 2000. Pugwash was 2000. Oh, Ethan's messaged me he's got mic problems, apparently. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Um, he tried. <laughs> Wait, so... Uh, Simon, did you... Did you own this, like, WAF market? Just zoom in a bit further. Hold on. It got smashed. Oh, it's oh, that smashed up dump that. truck. Oh, that's what happened one. to that? <laughs> what happened to one. that? I've still, I've still got it. That's the one that, yeah, um, I didn't own it at the time. No, uh, that was still a... Where about, where about was that one? Was that, where, where uh, it was a... It was it was at the Woff market. I the guy, the guy I bought my sights off, he had that, and I've still got the actual bottom of the, of the dumper truck, but not the top. So yeah, it got, it got broke into. The, yeah, the, that's that's what I told you about, Desiree. Where it took the um, yeah. About that, so you can take your picture. Yeah, they literally smashed the smashed the smashed the front of it to get into the coin box. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where was that then, Sam? Is that, is that in Mexico somewhere? In where? It was in Mex. Where was that, Mexbra? Mexbra. No, no, th this, no. This was what? Woff. Yeah, Woff what? Market. Which market? Woff sorry. Market. Woff. Yeah, Mexbra oh, right. has the uh, Spilsby train. This one. It's in Mexbra. No, no, this one's in Woff. Right. Mexbra has the Spilsby train. That's what I was trying to say. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, I've still, I've still got. I, I bought off the I bought all the stock off the off the guy who had the ride. So yeah, I've still got I've still got I've still got the bottom half of that of that um, dumper truck. But the top half yeah, came back. <laughs> apparently a lot of what, stuff was getting broken into around that time. That takes that that took some serious force to break into that. Those still do rides are like tanks. They literally like tanks. To break into that yeah. you've literally got to it must be like a sledgehammer job that to get into that. Noisy, yeah. noisy wonder, wonder if it was worth their while. Wonder how they got out of it. Um, hmm. It's been better to just wheel the ride off. Yeah, but it did a bit better off just getting the ride and trying to run with the ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
mean, he, uh, God, I've never heard that. I mean, he, um, lifeboat. So that's like metal hole kids. And, he, and he's there, but he's turned off and put in storage. Again, it's not open. Right, right. But it's so, still there. So, yeah. Is it a metal hole kids with clinks? Yeah, yeah. It's the, the, kids, the kids clinks on the bottom layer, out on the bottom floor, and then the, um, the normal clink card shoes. It's the same shop, but at the top, you've got like metal hole, you've, you've got two floors, haven't you? So the kid clinks at the bottom. Yeah. Um, that is probably one of the best sites. I'm sure I remember there being a um, dumper truck there once. It might have been for a little bit, yeah, that, that was probably between the fire engine and the... fire engine and the train something. Um, Again, I bought the bought site off, I bought site off the same guy who had all the other eyes. He wasn't, uh, let's say he wasn't looking after it properly, the site, um, in general. I, I've seen a picture of the train on, on <coughs> Google images. Yeah, it's London. If you type in, if you type in Deborah Orr at Barney, you should be able to see the train on there. That train is still there, it's been there for about 15, 20, maybe longer, maybe about 25 years. It's been there a long time. I've like, never even Deborah, seen it. You've never seen it? Yeah, go, no. go on Google images and type in De Deborah, Deborah Orr at Barnsley, it'll come up. Was there any? Was there any other like kids with clink shops that had rides? Yes, there used to be. Um, <coughs> when I first took it over. I took the rides. I took the rides off the side because they wasn't doing very well. And the thing was, to me, there was a little bit out of the way to go to. I had one at um, Newcastle uh, in Two Centre. That was downstairs. Yeah, downstairs at the new at the uh, new Clinton Centre. Problem with it was, it wasn't in view from the passersby. It was like in the in the clean card shoes. We had to go into the shop and then down some stairs to the kids section. It wasn't like Meadow Hall where you could see it. But it didn't do very well in there. And I also had uh, one at clean at. Uh, not Middlesbrough, what's it? Oh, I, oh, no, sorry, yeah. One at Middlesbrough and one at Redcar. That was it. Redcar, no, Middlesbrough, was... Newcastle, and then um, Meadowall. They were the four. I think there was a kid's clinks in Nottingham. Yeah, never had one, never had one there. So. there is, I think uh. there's, um, there might be a kid's clinks, so no ride there now. Uh. Don't Would you be that. able to tell no. me about the company that used to own it called Mac Automatics? The which one? Sorry, tell me again. Sorry, the which one? Would you be able to tell me about the company that owned the rides called Mac Automatics? Yes, basically, I, I took over Mac Automatics. What it was, um, initially, it was uh, a guy called a, well, a, a guy, a guy and his wife called somebody in Sarah Mac. They had, it, they had it originally, and Jim Fletcher, uh, who owns Spillsby Music, you know, who made Spillsby Music Machine, he made he made a lot, he made a ton of well, about about 200 rides for them all together. He made 200 rides for them. They bought them brand new, and they started them all over. Uh, they were they were based their head off well, their their base was Leeds, so they, that's where they they worked from, and they provided the rides. Uh, obviously, they had sites all over Leeds, Bradford, so all probably all all for you going up. Um, or maybe and before that as well, like for the, for the, for the 90s, they had these studs rides all over Leeds and sort of West, West Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, all around there. And then they retired and sold the business to Jim Fletcher, which is uh, the guy who owns Bill's, the guy who made and owns the Bill's Davis machine. He had it for so many years, and then he he uh, he sold it to the person that I knew called um, the guy called Carl. Who didn't, who didn't look after it very well, uh, and he lost, all, he lost a lot of his sight, and in the end he lost Winter World of Shoes, which was the big, uh, the big that was the main contract, Winter World of Shoes, they had uh, about 40, 50 sites all together. Uh, he lost that site, and Northern Leisure gained the site, so now Northern Leisure, all Northern, Le Northern Leisure, have now got Winter World of Shoes on their portfolio, and they've got 
all their rides in the Winter World of Shoes. But luckily, at the time when he lost the sights for that, I brought the rest of the sights off him. Because it was all his get. I brought those sights off him. Uh, the, not, not the Winter World of Shoes, I brought the other ones off the other ones. Uh, the Bradford, Markets and uh, the Clean Cars, uh, and a few other little, little bits of stuff. I brought them off him. So, um, I caught some attics in sort of put down. It was the guy who obviously had, had it off Jim and the other guy, but uh, he's packed in because he's, uh, he's lost all his size. Probably a bit too much information there, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right. It's, all, it's, all, it's all interesting, it's all interesting, but yeah, that's, that's my role. So now, Northern Asia's got all the Winter World of Shoes. I've got uh, the Bradford Market, Meadow Hall, and uh, that's about it from North. Best, 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 best. The rest of my side from uh, sort of around Mansfield area. There's a lot of little shops and stuff, so yeah. That's the current situation, and they're all turned off. So, just yeah. uh, COVID. Have Northern Leisure replaced every winter site now? They've got, I think last time I spoke to Richard Pike, I think he's got, he's got every, he's got a ride at every winter site that would let him have a ride. Uh, bearing in mind that obviously his rides are a bit bigger than the Spilsby ride. A lot of the shops are sort of used to having a very, 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 very small little Spilsby train. And now they've got like a big Bob the Builder or uh, Asperger or Tip Ahoy or whatever they are. So I think, I think some of the sites didn't want rides, didn't they? It was, it was, apparently it was down to the discretion of the manager of the shop, the shop. So if it, if, it didn't, yeah. if it didn't feel comfortable or didn't want the ride, didn't they? They sort of turned it down. But <coughs> I think he's, he's probably got a good... Northern Legends probably got a good 30, 40 sites, probably. Still, I reckon, uh, but it's not quite a lot of Winter World shoes. It's surprising how many there is. All Blackburn, Leeds, two or three in Bradford. Um, all over the place. The base, I think, I think the, where, where I picked some of the rides up from one time, they're based in uh, Halifax or just outside Halifax somewhere. Oh, I found that Clint's picture now with the train. No. Yeah. And. Oh, and there's the one that you said about. That's, is, that my, uh, is that my evidence? Yeah, like it, like yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> that ambulance, believe it or not, is the one and only Spilsby ambulance in existence. That was literally a prototype. Yeah. It was. It's the same. It's the same um, fiberglass mold as the fire engine. But obviously, he only made one ambulance. Same R timer. Um, it, it, it's just called, it's called an emergency sound effect. Emergency, emergency vehicle. Yeah. That's the only Spilsby uh, and I've no, I've no longer got it. I can't think off the top of the head where it is. I'm not going. I'm trying to I've heard that if not for the lockdown. Uh, what, sorry? I'd have had that one. I'd have had that one if not for the lockdown, just because it was so rare. I'm trying right. to think where it is. Wasn't oh, today. No, oh, no, no, it's not there. No, no, no. I'm trying to think where it is. It's some. Somewhere where, 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 I did, where I've got down where it is, I'll find out where it is. It might be, though, Desiree. It might, it might be. Yeah, it's Tom. It might be Tom down there, your end. Yeah, where Essex Tom. No, it weren't. Was it? Yeah. No. I don't know. You never told me that. You, but then I didn't know you'd sold it, so I don't know. I mean, I knew, I knew now, but I didn't know at the time, so I don't. I'm sure. Um, no, I'm sure. I can't remember now if. I can't remember if he had it, if I told it to him, or I've got a funny feeling. Again, I apologise for not being clear. I can't. <coughs> I've gone through so many rides, I can never remember what exactly where I put things. I'm not sure if I've got a guy who's got about six or seven kids in uh, Blindworth, and he's bought a couple of the small rides off of his house. I know he's got the ice cream van still, and I've got a funny feeling. I think he's got the ambulance as well. Because I think I sold Tom. The uh, fire engines and the uh, green and blue teddy bear delivery van. van. Yeah, I think I think he's got it. It's somewhere where I knew it wasn't it wasn't too far away, and it's safe. And it's like it's somewhere where I know if I ever need it, I can buy it back. I'm pretty sure he's got it. He's got both. I'm sure he's got both the ambulance and the fire, and the fire uh, ice cream van. 
I know he's definitely got the ice cream bank. He had that one first. Sorry, I, I lose track of where things are. Oh, sorry. Well, there was one Windsor's I found where I think they've got a Bob the Builder now, but when I went back in time on Google Maps, they had a puppy scooter. Oh, was that the. Let me, let me guess. Was that the Chesterfield one? Is it maybe? Yeah, that one. The what? The Chesterfield one. I'm not sure. I think it was. I think it was Bradford's. Or, I'm not sure. All right, okay. So I, I, I told I told Carl the guy who obviously had. I don't think that'd be northern. I think that'd be an old picture. That might be when obviously Mac Automatic still had Windsor size. He had two or three computers from me that he did start in Windsor. He had them, and he also had as well. An RG Mitchell green buggy as well at one point. And, and a safety cam. Is that a safety cam? Um, in fact, that no, there's a... two. There's two Windsors in Bradford. There is, yeah. There's one... Tong. One point Tong and one uh, in Bradford Centre. Yeah, one's at the retail park. That's the that's Tong one, yeah. The ones in the centre, I think. They're the ones in the, you know, off the, off the board on the main. Not, not like in the town, town centre, like centre of Bradford, rather than on the outskirts of the town. Thornton Road. Yeah, that's what yeah. that That one used to have a type of thing. Back um, automatics had one Northern Leisure ride, and it was a type of thing that used to be there. But unfortunately, it had to be moved because. People of Bradford didn't appreciate the pig. <laughs> do, you, do you get do you get do you get why that was, Desiree? Yes, I don't think that was a very appropriate thing to be here. No, 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 it's lost it. It's, it's, no, it's lost it. Ethan, are you, are you, did I hear Ethan's voice? Yeah, is it working now? Yep. Yeah. Hello. Good. 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 The Thomas and Buzz men. Well, the Buzz and Thomas men. Yeah. <laughs> he is loving it. Congratulations on your ride. Awesome, awesome choice. Love it. Yeah. Me and my dad have got to do some work on Thomas this weekend because his front lamp doesn't flash. But the screws that hold the plate, the cover thing, we don't know what it is. It's called. You can get. You can get a screwdriver off eBay for it. It's called. Um, I think it's called a, a, a secure star. It's basically you're looking for. If you go onto eBay, you're looking for a. Um, oh, I'll find out what they're called. They're basically it's like it's like um, they're on all the all the rides. They use them on all the rides so like the the, the the plastic stuff. It's like a it's like a star. So the end of the screwdriver rather than a point of it on, the screwdriver's got like, um, it goes over the whole star and twists it round. But you can also use as well, if you want to, you can also use a pair of um, pin suppliers and that will do the same job. You get a pair of a pair of wire cutters or a pair of pin suppliers and gently put them on there and twist them um, anti-clockwise, the screws will come off. But if not, you can right. get the actual screwdriver that goes straight off and anti-clockwise it turns straight off. Yeah, okay. And the, the, bulb, oh. the bulb in there is a weird bulb. So be prepared. It's a, it's a weird, it's a weird little bulb in there. It's on the uh, Alpha Test. Excuse me, the Alpha Test. It's like a, um, it's like a LED, it's like a, a, a 12 volt halogen sort of thing. It's quite a weird bulb. Yeah. It's all flashing. It's all working. It's all flashing. Okay. I found, I found that Windsor's in Bradford. It's 2018, a purple puppy scooter. How do you notice these things through the window? He glides oh, right onto. It is. It's not purple. Right. Ethan, Ethan, and, and Sammy, all that they can, they can, they can spot right. They can spot right from the sky. 
Yeah, Mind you, I, I, used, I used to be like it, getting all the old postcards, and there'd just be like one little bit of a ride sticking out behind the hedge. I'd have to buy the postcard. One, two, three, nine. Um, My Windsor's used to have a red safety cam car without the camera, and it had a, it had a 50p one. mechanical that's mech. The one. That's the one we were talking that about. Is, yeah, was that, in, um, was that in Newcastle at one? Where was that? Where was that? Hazel Grove Stockport. 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 Yeah, he did move into Stockport. Yeah, he did move into Stockport. It was originally in Newcastle. Yeah, it was a red safe, red safety cam car with no safety cam, and it just made it engine noise. Is that right? Yeah, and then Northern Leisure took yeah. over, and now it's Tractor Tom. Uh, <laughs> better for you. Better for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that safety cam car. I uh, I refurbished that. That's actually got a nineteen eighties. RG Mitchell um, car timer in it. That's why I made mm. that. that what? So is that what would have been on the Super Sprint? Yeah, of that's course, Super yeah. Sprint one. Super, super Sprint or the Veteran Van as well, I think it's done there as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, this is what. I probably have a picture of it, let me find mm. it. Oh, is that a Roly? Yeah, that's what they've currently got yeah. where they sell the puppy scooter. Um, have you seen that video of like, the cat in the hat in a Windsor? I've, yeah, I've, oh, I've seen the cat in the hat in a Windsor. So, yeah. Reese Taylor's, I think. That, that Johnny Roger one, is it? Still the cat. Still the yeah. Car thing. Johnny Roger cat yeah. in the hat. Yeah. I think I found the picture I took of the safety cam car here. Oh, on my God, screen. It's for ages. <laughs> All right, God, stay it. Is this it? That's the fella. I paid, I paid, I paid fifty pounds for him, and I, and I went, basically took the took the camera off. And the thing, the thing with the camera was, you couldn't get the, you couldn't get the, um, you could get paper, but you couldn't get the ink for the, uh, the printer. It was a really weird printer that some learned you. So I took the camera off, and I plated up the where the camera joined onto the car. Took the whole thing off, and uh, I think weighed it and scrapped it a bit, and. Um, Basically turned it into a normal ride. Took the time, took the um, sound master timer off. The, the timer sits at the back of the car, uh, behind the uh, and cut the back of the car with the pump. Uh, put the timer off and um, put an inflation amount to uh, an RG Mitchell plastic car timer. Mm. You know, great. Uh, I remember rightly as well the two buttons. I made them into two uh, two oh. wide open buttons. Then. Yeah, I we just lost your voice. You've come back now. When did Safety Cam Car come out? Like first release? Two thousand and six, I think. Um, Same year as my buzz. Was it? Were they ever owned by Photo Me, or was it like? Yeah, after, they were owned by Photo sales. Me. I've seen two owned by Photo Me. Yeah. So I guess that was when they was then they still owned some. So it must have been released before the sale to Northern Leisure. There was one in Hyde, although it didn't really make a lot of money, probably because it was next to a big Thomas, and everyone wanted to go on Thomas, even me. Huh. So, um, uh, let me see. so probably why um, didn't make a lot of money. So does Marvin Leisure own any bananas in pajamas or on the train? I'm sure Richard Pike said he's got a lot of them. Oh. Hmm. There's the tractor, Tom. That's there now. Oh, hang on, I haven't got your um. Picture. There it is. I also found a classic picture from years ago at Brookside, and if you can see behind the Wicker Brothers oh, policeman, yeah. you can see Thomas. Yeah, I saw you posted that on the Hangouts group earlier, didn't you? It's a yeah. nice picture. Yeah. And all those pictures you were finding of the other rides at um, Brookside. 
Yeah, they got Fireman Sam at one point. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's not a ride. That used to be Toby the Tramp from Thomas, but I think because of copyright, they had to, to change it. It's a shame. Although it's, it's a nice looking little train. It's just not mm. Toby. If, you, if you'd paint the face white, it would give you like a Thomas look. Yeah. I think there's a nut. Oh yeah, this is the one Elias took of the these two before they got knocked over by the flood. Yeah, it's a shame because they're rare. Mm. Even though Thomas was broken, I don't think he actually got knocked over because he was actually bolted down into that shelter, so he couldn't yeah. actually go anywhere. Mm. Although that Puffin Billy wasn't really bolted down, so I wouldn't be surprised if... That got knocked to see it was just under like a little Yeah. Uh, it's like what to that like two and Tron Express or whatever it's called. Yeah, I don't know how that survived because I don't oh uh, right, Thomas and Puff and Billy didn't survive, so I don't know how that survived the flood. Is it still there? But, no. It was owned by the old railway operator and when he retired. Obviously, the rides were owned by him, so... Um, do they still have the rides at, like, private garden place where you said they had, like, Mr. Blobby? The Mr. Blobby's gone. It was sold for £40 pounds to someone I don't know here, though. I'll look at the pictures. I should find... A picture of Brookside from years ago, and it was before they had Thomas, but they had some other ride next to Puffin Billy, but I couldn't identify it because it looked really old. It was like a sort of really old carousel. I'll try and find it in my photos. I don't think I've seen that picture. Probably covered in the millions of pictures of Buzz. Never have enough pictures of Buzz though. Mm. Buzz is our well, Buzz is our celebrity ride. Yeah, and probably in a few months though, my Facebook will be full of Thomas. Yeah, but he won't take Thanks. over from Buzz, will he? He's just no. Be... He'll never take over from Buzz. Yeah. Uh, these pictures should be some ah. Yeah. Should this one here? Yeah. So Thomas was, that was before Thomas came, he's meant to be there, but there's this thing here next to Puffin Billy, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I can't see. Can you try to well, zoom it, like click on it and read the picture? Uh, open the image. What? Yeah, let's save it and then zoom in on it. Uh, I, I don't think it will let me. No, you have to put no, it up there. Like, click uh, on the dots. Hold hold the control, or yeah, you can zoom it. Oh, there we go. Wow. There, that that one. Oh, I see. It's a little squirrel on the next to a the Whitaker Brothers ride. It's Enchanted Forest ride. I haven't mm. seen one of them for a long time. Mm. Although I, that that I don't I've never seen that there, so that probably got replaced by Thomas. I just realised something. I'm probably never going to find out what that singing kettle ride was because it's gone. Yes, sad. I never, I never even got to see that movie. It was always unplugged. Okay, let's see. That's a picture of Thomas from 2001. I think that was when he first arrived because he looked in good condition back then. Is the let me see if I can just show you that. Um, is it going to show me? Is that going to? I don't know what I'm showing now. Yes, yeah, isn't it? That's the it's that little roundabout, I think. Um, behind. Ah, <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh. so it's like a Mm. Mm. I'm sure 
There's another picture. Mm. Strange, oh. they had Thomas there, because most of the stuff seems to have been... Um, that's oh, the rights they had there. I suppose they, they had Puffin and Billy and they had Thomas, but everything else was Whitaker, wasn't it? So. Mm. Unless maybe they had some like contact with Whitaker Brothers or something. Oh, maybe. what's that? What's know. that helicopter? There's a yellow helicopter there. I think it's one of Callum's Rondine. Oh, <laughs> They've got like this classic fun fair, like really old fashioned fun fair that comes every Easter, I think. And they've got a load, a bunch of um, old kiddie rides on the. They got an it RGM Express. It reminds me of the ATMs one. It does kind yeah. of look. Yeah, it looks a bit too modern to be the original Rondina mm. one, but. Mm. No. I just remember that picture you sent me of that um, Muppet Babies carousel. One that you sent me, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, I've never seen the same one of them on a the site anywhere, though, only, only uh, at the uh, yeah. great exhibition. Yeah, you're, you you have so many more rare rides that aren't your way than we no, have no, down in I London. I think it's so it was a Bruce fair, and they had in the play area they had that carousel and a kiddie coaster. Then they got rid of the kitty coaster and replaced it with some other thing. I think it was the ice kitty coaster, I'm not sure. Then they got Go Go Pony, then Crazy Cars, and now Paw Patrol Chase. Ah, uh, here we go. It was ages ago, so I never got to film it. Look at oh no that don't want to save it. Just want to open it. If you have a look at this picture here, you'll see the Wick Brothers ice cream van stuck in the flood there. Mm, that's a shame. That flood sure looks much more. My God, it's mm. really really bad. I Although it was time. because of this, it was because of this motorway that they were building right next to the garden centre, and apparently, when it was a rainy day, I think someone hit a pipe and it burst something in the garden centre, and then. Mm. It flooded more than once, didn't it? Yeah, it. This is the more recent flood. Everything's covered in mud. Uh, uh, I've got something to show you, I want to know if you remember where it is. Why is that? That's Trex Tom now, where's that, where's that Trex Tom? That was Cleef for sale at one point on eBay. It's Cleef Oh, sure is that it was at the, um, where, where in Cleef Ops was that? That's not... That arcade, is it? The one Fair World. It's because I never saw it there. No, I remember you saying it was there. World. I can't remember what it was called. Something along the lines of that. Yeah, that one that's set back from the seafront. Uh, <laughs> I X Pod. Gone from a blue I X Pod to a friend. That's nice. I think. I don't usually see the new Jolly Roger rides. I don't usually Wait, see the new Jolly Roger rides outside um, Tesco. I don't think I I rarely see the iX pods in blue anywhere. I see them in green and red. I don't think I've mm. seen it in blue down here. What were you saying about the arcade? I think they've sold off a lot of their rides because they sold off the the old dolphin ride they had, and they had mm. like a coin operated carousel, like one of those Peter Pets ones, but it got several like horses and things. You could see, I think it had like six things on it which must have taken up a huge part of the arcade but they, but got, they sold that on ebay as well 
Have they got the two rocking boats still? I don't know. Mm. That because that was the one down on the seafront. That wasn't the fair world. That was Humber Pastimes. But no, it's on about the, the last boat. time I went there, it was shut. Yeah, they, it would be nice. Yeah, boat there. Yeah. It would be nice if, like, a lot of Morrisons nowadays still had like really good rides, like Buzz instead of Peppa Pig everywhere. Yeah. Mm. I'd definitely swap Peppa Pig for Buzz. I mean, I've got a Colin and a Bob the Builder Rowley in my local Morrisons, so, and although the tape... Oh, but the, um, it's a joke, isn't it, when they keep, you know, putting them behind that bench and putting them behind different things. Because it's Morrisons that want them off, is it? Because I bet Richard wants them on. Yeah, it's just Morrisons just being silly. Because, I mean, why, why is Tesco all right with it and Asda and some of them are inside? Well, that's, I was going to say, Tesco's is usually outdoors, but Asda is. Mm. But I don't think there's any, there's no actual government guidance saying rides have to be switched off. And now playgrounds are open. I don't see any reason rides shouldn't be switched off. Yeah, and why have they got, like, the Coinstar and stuff switched on? I mean, you're touching that, you're putting germs on that as well, so you still okay. touch. There's no difference. Whatever you touch, you same thing. Mm. I, know that, I know that icing rides aren't that good, but there is one They're that not. isn't as common as the rest. Like those dolphin star ones. Yeah, I've I've filmed I've filmed one of them. That's that's coming up on YouTube at some point. I filmed one of them at the Holiday Park where we stayed. I only seen two because they were next to each other at Butlins and Skegness. I think I it, I don't dislike the um. I don't dislike like the go go ponies and the dolphin stars. I just don't really see them as rides. I see them as something else, you know. There's Buzz at Graffiti the Golf, the so very quiet one. Well, for some reason, he's not like there. I don't know if they've like got rid of him or or they've just limited the amount of rides because of yeah, COVID. I hope they haven't took him away. The right there. Because I've still got Postman Pat, which I'm not happy about, but Buzz isn't out. Mm, let's see. You know, I'm curious about the one um, in the Blackpool. Remember the day where, where I took photo of Hydrojet and the Falgas Ferrari? Yeah. Uh, Formula One. I wonder it's what what rights they have now. Was that Funland? I think that was. I, think, that... I mean, it's Blackpool, but I don't really remember because it was a long time I visited there. Yeah, I think it was Funland. Funland, I, mean, if... I think it's got two foul gas rides outside now. Is... Can we go further up the road to Funland? Yeah, I, if... I'm curious yeah. if you, if you can go and want. I want to see. Oh, oh I think it's shut. Oh, it's shut. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's like a different time. There we go. Is it in a certain part? It was outside, wasn't it? So I think it. There's nothing outside at all, is there? Maybe it's not this one. It, I mean, I'm talking about. I think about it the was because I There's remember it one. the oh, prize no. bingo written. Oh, Black. Oh, I found, I found that. Well, I think I'm going to. There's some Falgus stuff here. Ah. I found that. I think that it was nice. Funland where the picture was taken, but it's just. Oh, what's that? That Sammy's showing. Hang on. The Muffet Baby Carousel, Bruce Ferry. Oh, there's the. Uh, yeah. It's not the one that I remember seeing because that's a different one, but. I guess that just feels like more than one has him. And I'm definitely not the only one to have seen a kiddie coaster at Bruce Fair because I'm buddies as well. 
I, f I found a I found a confirmed location where there is one of the very first chapter toms. I'll find it now. Is it still got the old Northern Leisure logo on? <coughs> yeah, it's not this. Oh, well, not this one. Wait, what? It is Oh, oh, wait, no, it won't because. Oh, yeah, because this one's got black wheels, hasn't it? Oh, Simon's looked up what you need for your Thomas. He's just written in the chat what you can buy on eBay. Right, I'll I'll tell my dad then. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, down on the beach. Yeah, the Rafa basis. Uh, even the repainted Paddington on the OMC um, one. Uh, I think I've got some pictures of that somewhere. But probably not anything useful. Okay. Uh, it's so old in. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, you've got, I don't know, you've got video of it. Yeah, yeah. it's got, got the that, uh, clean street right? there. It is, and I'm trying to think who made it. Is that an Amutech? That might be an Amutech ambulance. Um, clean big. street, buddy. And that's the Mills Novelty Company elephant next to it. Um, pink, so oh, Pink train. Panther train. Uh, is it's that... got like a mix of old and new down there. Can't tell. Let me wait until it turns. Can't tell. Oh, no, it's it's... Yeah, it's been painted red. Is that the Jolly Roger Whale down there? Can't say well enough. Wait, it's got a purple on it, and I think they do, so I think it is, yeah. Uh, RGHL, Fire and Salmon, Huggy oh, Bear. Huggy Bear. I think this is all changed. Oh, and then you've got the Edwin Hall Kangaroo. And then is that uh, a. Is that is that a modified that Paddington a taxi? Yeah, it's a, yeah, I think it's a Paddington taxi. Is that the Paddington. same one that used to be a. Apple say Atlantic. Wait, actually, no, that one was blue. They didn't yeah, have Paddington one's... on it. Is that like. That's a Jolly Roger bulldozer. I don't know what. Yeah, I, don't know what um, that thing is. I think that's a Mickey Mouse car down there if I pause at the right. Like, there. Yep. Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of that's changed. Let me see if I've got pictures of it because I thought I had. Of it. Uh, gosh, it's, let's just put my my screen on here. Just a bit. Of it. Which I didn't film. When I that? kick myself. That was. Oh, I don't know. That was. That must have been somewhere. It's wherever we were staying in Yorkshire, but it's this. This is eight years ago, so it's not really um, that. This is the only one that that replaced the male and the magical puppet. Oh, here we go. This is the. Yeah, that was in 
that was in Wilkinson's in um yeah. let's see yeah, there it is. That must be pictures yeah. I took when it was closed, but I was a bear in the big blue house on there. It actually doesn't look like it has changed that much from only a few things. I don't know what that horse was. I can't I also found the house from the past time this house. Oh, the elephants moved. Look, the elephants moved from the inside to the outside, yeah. which is strange. Yeah. We got um, what do you call it, Pink Panther and Mickey Mouse on the outside there. I think yeah. that's the only picture I took of it. Yeah. That's fine. Hang mm. on. Remove. Got a picture of Buzz on here. I'm just thinking, I'm looking at the pictures, seeing where if we could fit Thomas somewhere. Maybe because there's a plug over near that orange bit. So if my auntie gave me permission to move the grabber over there, because I think the other operator wouldn't mind as long as it's plugged in, he's making money, he won't care where it is. Right, mine will and, then, be. and then move that red dispenser thing over on that side of Buzz, keep Buzz there and then maybe put Thomas there facing towards the seats that have work because the vending machine can go somewhere where there isn't a plug point, can't it? So. Yeah yeah, because exactly because they don't need plugs but he's got an air hockey there, but it's never turned on, and he never seems to bother with it when he comes. He doesn't even take the money out of it. Mm. I found this Garfield car at number past times. Um, it starts without pressing the button, and it's got quite a short timer. <laughs> Uh, it stopped. When was this? Right. When was this here? How long ago was that? Yeah, it's, it's got quite a short time because that's how long the video is. It's crazy. But that um, Magic Roundabout was on quite a short time, um, wasn't it? It's, one I filmed. It's, def it's owned by Pumba Pastimes, the ride, but you know, that's like. Rock and the rocker boats, yeah. No, like the I mean, I mean, like the ice cream and rock and all those oh. food shops just just oh, yeah, yeah. on the past time. Yeah, it's like next to those. Yeah, I I think I do remember it being there. It's like on its own, isn't it? But further yeah, up the road, it's owned by them though because it, when it was done. For the day, they actually took it inside to the Humber past times and asked if they own it, and they said yeah. I can't believe I'm just looking at my um, my pictures from Cleethorpes that this is 2012, oh, but there's that oh, yes, this Santa arcade. on the <laughs> yeah, well I can't photograph anything inside, but I've forgotten that I got that. I don't know where that was. Oh, is that mm, outside mm, here? No, I that but it was a, there was a Little Einstein's right there, I don't remember that. Yes, I remember seeing that on Google Maps. Yeah, that's gone now. I wish some of the Little Einstein's ride found because they're quite rare. It's oh, definitely the fire engine good. there. I don't even think I took a picture of it. And that one's gone as well. And this was the the, the non-little retractor tractor. Right, so which came first, or were they both released at the same time? I don't know, because you see, it. I mean, this is like the era, it's the one era that I'm kind of missing information on, because it was between when I got too big to ride on rides and before I really started researching mm. them. But, but I don't, I just, I'm going to have to ask um, Nigel from Amutech about that and see if. Mm. Also, do you know the date when Mini Palomar Rebus was released? Because 
on that key I was looking at Calvin Jackson, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's 2009 because that was on a website that has... I think the... I think the big one was 2006, and then the little one was 2009, I think. It seems Strange. a bit a big hard gap. to release it then. So that's what I think. But when you look at the Amutech website on the Wayback Machine, that's what... I mean, the dates that I put on my videos, I, I got from Wayback Machine, so... Um, mm. and, it, then, and they actually had, like, news rather than it just appeared on the... Website. And little Red Tractors, um, 2007, isn't it? Yeah. See, that never appeared on the Amutech website. Because I don't think enough were made. I don't think it really... I can't see. Where's my... I can't find my video of the Balamori bus to see what I'd... Oh, is it this one? Here it is. Yeah, I said 2006, and then the little one was mm. very island. Well, most people said that the that, that the big one was like 2004 or five. So 2006 was the big one, definitely. What I find strange is that the little one didn't come out till oh nine, but yeah, because it ended a, a long time before that. Yeah, it's really odd, and yet... I'm pretty sure Little Red Tractor actually ended in the same year the ride was released. Yeah, but then I suppose... I mean, going back to the My Little Pony ride, that was obviously the first ride I filmed, which one came in, that um, came out in 1994, and they stopped selling My Little Ponies in 1993. So, mm -hmm. you know... I think sometimes these licenses take a long time to go through. That doesn't explain why Balamori buses will be uh, released that late because they've already got the license. Oh, um, you know how you said that you thought that the Sergeant Stripes ride was from 2006? Yep. Oh. There's actually a comment that kind of says otherwise. I don't see I've I think most of the Jolly Roger ones I've just done from like Wayback Machine and um you know looked at when they appeared on the website or gone back to the earliest I can find. But um, what I need to do is go through like proper archives with all the trade newspapers, but well, I need to do that post lockdown. No, so, like, Monday it Namco. Says, <laughs> here it says on your description 2006. And then on some of the comments that were saying which what, like when it was released. So it's in 2004, not 2006. Yeah. Yeah, but if you look, and yeah, I know it's him, but. Like, for once, it actually seems genuine, because look, here's some 2004 proof, let me just open this. Yeah, I seem to remember looking at this, and I, I can't... Yeah, uh, children's ride. No, is uh, it actually... Wait, what? Yeah, take was it on... actually taken there, or was it... Or... You see, it was uploaded a different date, wasn't it? Which is what? So it's taken on January 28, 2004. But I don't so, know when it was actually uploaded. Let me have a look. don't think it actually says. For some no, I, think I don't think says, it I think it either says, like, when it was taken, or if they don't know that, then they'll say when it was uploaded. Yeah, probably. Sergeant Strikes, KD, right. Um, Where's mine? There is, there's my video. Let's see if I can find this comment. It's like Ben Coulson saying it was released in 2004. And then I said, Only stuff I can find direct from Jolly Roger. There it is. Church's Ride. Yeah, if you, if you hover over 
the um, January 28, 2004 with, you know, on the laptop, it says uploaded March 26, 2007, that picture. So I don't know, it could have been taken that long ago or they could be, you know, they could be saying it was taken that long ago. That picture was uploaded in 2007. Mm. So I, I do remember looking at this now, but I... I just, I don't know. I think what I need to do is go through all the reports for the amusement trade exhibition every year, mm. and I haven't, I haven't got that for the 2000s. So I need to go to newspaper archives as soon as this lockdown's over and try and see it. Do you, you think Jolly Roger will know like the history of my Thomas, like when he was made and everything? I don't know if they've the, kept records because you know Richard Pike's so so helpful like that, isn't he? But I don't know. I mean, it, I mean, it's off. more it's more helpful with Richard because I mean he made those, but the company that made Thomas isn't in business anymore, so it's more harder. Yeah, well, that's that's. <coughs> the Didn't they I don't buy, know. What when did they buy our RG Richard? Was it two thousand six? Yeah, it was it was two thousand and five. Photo me bought out Mitchell, and then they bought out Jolly Roger in two thousand and six, I think. So they all got amalgamated. Hang on. So actually, I've looked at the I've just looked at the um, Wayback Machine for Amutech. Let me just get this on here. Where is it? And this is news for 2009. Namco Kitty Rides. I don't know where I found stuff about um, Balamori, but oh yeah, here we go. Wrapping up the licensed Kitty Ride collection launches is Baby Balamori. But they're also saying. Um, hang on, where does it say about Little Red Tractor? But they're saying Little Einstein's is, is being shown by them as well. Right, the Little Red so... Tractor was being shown in 2009. So that's looking like it was like even later. Right, so where did you get the 2007 information from? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to remember. Didn't you say what person you I thought it said it on their website. I thought it said it on their website. Perhaps I, Perhaps I put the wrong date down. It's looking like it's 2009, isn't it? Which is even later than you'd expect it to be. That's, that's two years after it ended. I'm going to check when it ended. I think it was 2007. What's our red on Wikipedia? Let's see. I wonder if there was ever a poster for the Mini Thomas. I know there was one for the big one. Uh. Yeah. yeah, apparently it ended in 2007, yeah. News, 2007 news. Well, this is just new for 2000. Perhaps I just didn't go as far as 2009. I hadn't actually looked that far for that. I just, I need to go through all these websites and write everything down when I have a timeline. Um, because so... there's too much information. When did Bandai and Amico Entertainment buy out Amutech? This, well, this is 2008, and it's saying Amutech Kitty Rides, the division of Namco. So that's, it's between 2007 and 8. And... Mm. Right, so, did, so does Amutech still exist as a division, or was it just Namco? Well, it's saying that they're... In 2008 and 9, they're still manufacturing and they're mm. also distributing Eunice and Merca rights. And I'm trying to think when, because I thought Northern Leisure was distributing all the Merca Disney rides by that point. But yeah, I thought, I thought Richard Pike has all the um, sticker sheets for all the like, the McQueens, don't he? Yeah, and I, I know he was distributing them earlier on and he's still got all the stuff now. So, I don't know why Amutech were on Namco. Yeah, there's a there's a Morrison's near my auntie in Bolton, and that's got a swing boat and a Lightning McQueen. 
Yeah, they've they've certainly still got um, Merca Disney rights. Um, well, Although I think it's only Lightning McQueen that actually makes money because it's probably the only popular thing, unless it's Mickey Mouse. I don't think the ones. Did you say that, like Northern Leisure has a good relationship with that? Well, I can't remember what it's called, that company that supplies the rides to um, the farmhouse in Pub and Carberry. What? Um, that Buffalo Bills? Are we... No. No, or, no it's instant. The farm... farm. Ca- no, I think, I th- no, I think the company that runs those rides in those Carberries buy most of their rides from Northern Leisure because a lot of the rides in there the Northern Leisure ones. But they're not owned by Northern Leisure because they haven't got Northern Leisure badges on them. Oh, but like, I've seen a Blue Lightning McQueen at one, and that has the um, Northern Leisure white one pound sign on it. Yeah, the, my buzz has got Northern Leisure thing on it. Doesn't mean it's owned by Northern Leisure. That's, they've all got, most Northern Leisure rides have those prices on them, even if they're not owned by Northern Leisure. Yeah, and, uh, some legendatic ones still have them, I think. Mm. Not Brum in Maxbury also has an odd lizard price sign on it. Yeah. Oh. Well. Obviously, oh. the plaque on the Actually, the third me part of the mountain. Similar to the fire engine and Basil Brush, but that Basil Brush is, we didn't actually have Basil Brush in it. <laughs> yep, that, that funny one. <laughs> Can't remember where so, it was now. So that is what, um, in my Thomas then, I'm guessing, that's what it looks like. So... Yeah. So what? How, I don't. I don't get. What is the thing with the Thomas characters on it? The the thing that rolls out. Like, what if it breaks? Is it? Is it? Is it like a piece of paper or? I don't know. To be honest, I'd have to. I I did actually ask. I asked my friend Adrian about this, and I can't remember. He said they were ever so fiddly to put together, and you know, they were. They don't That's look like just pieces of paper. They look too shiny. No, it's a. It's like I think it's a, It's got to be something more solid than that, isn't it? Or it wouldn't last good. But mm. I think it's. I think the problem is getting the bulb inside, and you know, so that it continues to show up through the screen. Yeah, I mean the one on mine works. It just keeps sticking and stopping, but it only stops when it gets to James, and then it just starts <laughs> to. So. Well, obviously James is the favourite. You say, and he has to be—he has to be shown for longer. Yeah. And Percy goes past fine, but when it gets to like halfway through James's body, it just starts to jut and stuff. Hmm. It does look kind of complicated, and if it's in, the, and if I've got a mini Thomas, it's not going to be as much space as that big one, so. Might be harder. I wonder if Morrison's has ever had Buzz and Chat to Tom next to each other. Or is that in where's that pitch saying? Is that him speak? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember Buzz in Hemsby. I think it was taken two thousand ten or eleven, and then Buzz got swapped to something else. I think it was Pepper, but Tom stayed longer. I think. I remember Tom there. I don't remember. I don't remember Buzz. Mm. They do look good together, though. 
Yes, it's nice when you get the two characters like that together. I wish they'd made more Thomas characters. You know, it'd be nice to see a, a Thomas and a Percy ride together and, or something. Although, I think with Thomas, because I, the licensing for him is probably really expensive, which is why. Yeah. I can imagine that. that. And Tractor Tom would have been expensive for Northern Leisure because they released. They were, first made Tractor Tom only a year after the show came out, so it would have been really popular then. Peppa Pig wasn't out then, so it would have been really expensive. Yeah. Mm. Um, why did they not make Peppa Pig until 2010 if they already had existing deals with Contender? Yeah, because I mean they're owned by the same company. So. They probably have to get the individual license for Peppa Pig, don't they? And so. also, um, like, um, one thing. Like, one thing yeah. I don't get though. Yeah. Um, if they've already made Tractor Tom, do you think they had to still pay for Buzz as well for the licensing for Buzz? I don't. I don't know enough about it, but I think. I mean, with Paw Patrol, I think Richard said, you know, they got the license for Paw Patrol so they could make, you know, they'd already made one, so they could make a second one. But they just as long, they, as long as it's approved. Yeah, they have to get it approved. But I don't think they'd have to pay more. I think it's just... Uh, and they, I mean, unless so, it's in the agreement, you know, I don't know what's in their contract. Hmm. Hmm. I'm surprised um, actually they haven't made another PJ Masks ride because, you know. That's really popular. Yeah. And I would have thought that they'd have, you know, made a different vehicle from from PJ Masks. Is Thomas like the longest running children's program but still really, really popular as the anything else? I, I, I can't think. Around. I can't think of anything else that's like Thomas. Because he's been around a long time. Well, if, if you count if you count pre TV series and you go right back to the original Books. railway series, I don't think I don't think anything's gonna beat Thomas. Yeah. It must be definitely popular than PJ Masks and Peppa. I know. I mean, I know a lot of people like those two, but I mean, he has to be more popular. I would. Must... Thought, I would think Thomas would be the best. You know, the best ride you could. I mean, it's got to be more popular than Bob, because although I suppose with kids today, you get kids who like PJ Masks, you get kids who like Thomas. You know, but mm. it's overall Thomas has got to be more popular because I would think. Parents would recognise Thomas and want to put their kids on Thomas, you know. Yeah, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's not recognised what Thomas is. I think it'd be hard not to know Thomas. Right, everyone must have watched him when they were a kid or seen him. I mean, I would think more people know Thomas than Track to Tom. You know. They're oh yeah. You know, much much as we love Buzz, I, I bet there are people. I mean, I probably wouldn't know who Buzz was without the ride. You know, mm. but Thomas, you'd know. Thomas, yeah. everyone knows. Thomas um, also also be went popular on meme, memes, like such as funny memes. Is Thomas popular in in other countries? I mean, you know, oh, he's very know. popular in Japan. Uh, and, it's and not, in America now. Yeah. It's not it's not popular in here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I meant. I wondered if if you know children over there had heard of Thomas. Maybe Europe. Uh, maybe uh, no, mm. can't say Europe because I don't know. It just it doesn't it isn't popular in here. It would be better if Mattel weren't ruining mm. it though. Mm. I do get a lot of kids when they've been in rough and tumble. Sometimes they call him a car. Sometimes they call him a dumper truck. Sometimes they actually do call him his name, and sometimes they just call him Tractor Tom. But I think that's because 
the theme song the keeps saying Tom, Tom, Tom. Yeah. Tom. So yeah. they think he's called Tom because it keeps saying Tom. And also he's got the Tractor Tom logo on the front, hasn't he? Yeah, but I think the way they know his name is because his name it's is because on the It's because they side. hear the name being repeated again and again. <laughs> yeah. One of the reasons why we actually had to move Buzz is because there was a lot of parents coming in with like double prams and they kept complaining because Buzz was in the way. So that's why my auntie told me he's got to go inside. Yeah. Although I actually I think, didn't mind. I think he's better off inside, to be honest. It'll get used more. Mm. And outside in the corridor, it's freezing. So, because the doors are always open. So. I'm pretty sure there must have been more chapter toms made than Buzz. It's just the only thing what makes me think there's more Buzzes made is because of his video screen. Because everyone loves screens nowadays. They would have wanted Buzz because he has a screen. I haven't really seen that many with screens, have we? So I don't think... I don't well, think Ri that many with screens. Richard says the monitors that are in them are really old and they break. Yeah. And you can't fix them. He still he's, he told me once that he still has a bunch of the hay bale like shells though. He has loads of those. Need to put something else. Another yeah. you know, another um T V screen in there and turn it into something else. Well yeah. not turn it into something else, you know, but use you know, just modernise it so that it's it's still like a buzz with a TV screen. Something that I thought would be good is you put the hay bale on and then like what with Memo Park did with, with the um the domes, these things, put tractor tom toys in it. Yeah, something like that. You know, because I've got loads of them. Do you know that um that old tank ride that's at the Jolly Roger factory? Have you seen the picture yeah, of that? And I've it's got like that. little it's got like little toy tanks in a you know, yeah. in the cabinet on the front, you could do something like that, but with Tractor Tom toys in there. Mm. You know, even even if they didn't move, just like it, they could light up with, you know, as the theme song played. And... Yeah. The only problem is, would they stay still, though? With Buzz moving? Unless there was something. If they were secured stick. inside, like if they were glued down or. Yeah. And I saw. In a picture once in the Nova Leisure Factory, there was loads of these tractor tom molds, but they like smaller versions of it, and they're like blue and all different colours of tractor tom. I don't know if they're like failed molds or something. Yeah. Or prototypes. I'm sure there's a picture somewhere. Mm. Oh. There's a there's one with the screen. Yeah, that's in uh, plated. That's there's that one. Plated. Oh yeah. Is that near you? That's, even the, that's, or not? The, that's the one that used to be at Warrington Market. I can tell because of the price. It had a bit of of a dent on the. Price label. Um, is if you look at Reese Taylor's one, because... yeah, Oldham's near me. It says Diggle Oldham. Yeah, that's near me. Let me just. I'm gonna zoom oh, in on the price tag. That, that's where. I, that's where I went. The time I went, and the screen on that buzz, it worked. But when he started moving, it wouldn't show Tractor Tom. It would just still show like. The announcement, like advertising things, and show the actual video. I'm sure that up in the quad that you filmed, won't it? Does it quad? Mm. Oh, gone. Yeah. Huh? Why is it so very good? Maybe, maybe she's having a network problem. Uh, what oh. is this problem? 
Christ's head looks like. Yeah, if you look at Reese Taylor's video. Hmm. You know, surprisingly, um, any any of the UK lights didn't reach uh, in here. News connection. I lost my connection. I don't know what happened. Am I back? I thought it Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> don't know what happened there. There's another yeah. thing that makes me curious. So, you know, like with the farm quad and this using molds from licensed characters, like, would North yeah. Leisure ever get in trouble for that? Like, with the farm quad, like, wouldn't the licensed company thinking, wait, that's Buzz, they're using our character's shape? I don't know. I mean, they obviously, they must know what they're doing. I, I would have thought if I was the license holder, I'd, yeah. I'd say, that's Buzz, you know, you can't use my my character uh, i suppose if it's not got his colors and it doesn't play any licensed song or his voice or anything mm. it's well it's the of... same as the kogan rides we were looking at earlier where they've used the dusty mm. plane for a, a mm. generic plane now yeah 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 i'm surprised mm. that that's allowed to i think i think they got the license for it maybe oh it's so good Right, so good. Because not only that, there are there are more license rights in there mm. too. So I could only limit it technically sue so more than leisure for making the emergency heroes right. What well, like the emergency rides look too soon. Well, I, I presume that I'm sure I'm sure they're uh, I'm sure they're okay about it. I'm sure North and Leisure uh, wouldn't have released well, the list. They weren't, but mm. different yeah, copyright holders. Okay yeah. With the whole farm quad thing, otherwise they wouldn't have kept making rides with them. Yeah. I suppose, like, with the farm quad, as long as they don't use Buzz's colours, maybe they wouldn't get in trouble for it. Yeah, but but they do a blue version of it. Yeah, but they don't have the yellow. They don't use, like, the yellow bits and the blue bits to make it actually Buzz. Because if it does look like Buzz, then it is oh. showing it's like a rip-off Buzz. Yeah, I know. I know one time that Ethan wasn't very happy, though. No. Do you know what I'm referring to? Yeah, I do. What is it? You know, uh, I got one last request before I go, because it's getting late. Yeah, I Can... think we're going to wind this up in a minute anyway, so... Mm, it's midnight right now. <laughs> Yeah, but it's eleven here, so. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'd like to ask that I I recorded um Budgie's helicopter. Can can you tell me what can can you know so far with this? Let me find what? it with you. What the um the Mitchell one? There... I mean, I I really don't know, so I want to show the video so you can tell me okay. any anything information about it. Let me okay. find the videos. What if this is a kid stuff one? Maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Up. I don't know if you if you guys so so. Uh, let me find it again. Um, oh God, my Thomas didn't get shipped off to Kitty for one. That's did he come, he come from Instance Automatics, did you say? Yeah, I think they get him from Jolly Roger and then they send yeah. him to here. Yeah, well, I think that's where all those big batches of rides going off to Kitty Fun are coming from Jolly Roger. And then... I, the thing is, I don't know why they're sending him there because it doesn't look like they know how to fix him. Like with the yeah. if they send Northern Leisure Rides with Rosie boards, they won't know how to fix them because Richard's the only one who can fix them. So I don't see the point of sending those. Well, I suppose it's up to Kitty Fun what they buy, isn't it? But yeah. All right, I'm gonna because they keep going... sending like loads and loads of scraps. Okay, okay I'm going to sh share the screen now. Okay. All right, let's see. Hello. 
Where is it? Where is it gone? It's here. I don't know if you can see it well. Yeah, it's just loading up. Oh yeah, it's a, it's an Archie Mitchell one. It's got some modifications on it. Uh, I you mean you can see you can see new tag. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. No, uh, oh, I don't. I don't know enough to know what. Um, I don't know what Mitchell tags mean. So I don't know. Like. What. I think. I think depending on the number. I think it's the fif 15, 15 of production. Model fifteen, yes. Yeah, so I think it's like yeah. the fifteenth made or something. I mean, you can you can see. It's all all working. I just the no, there's no sound. No start button either. Let me speed it up. See, it's just working without sound. Yeah. At least it works. It's not got scraps. Mm. It's got some I mean, funny looking, lights on the side. It's clean, clean looking, right? <laughs> of, of course, I'm gonna turn my phone because it wasn't recording. It's not making any sound anyway. Mm. I mean, it's, it's clearly looking. I don't know if it gone or it is saying. A funny carousel next to it. It's one of them in Great Yarmouth now. I don't this know. One, uh, this this one's made by one, it? Uh, tech. It was made by Techway. Okay. Let me see. Just like going goes like the. <laughs> it took like. It's going very to, fast now. <laughs> uh, because I speed it up. Yeah, you speed see? it up. Uh, it just goes like the same, like. Finding too yeah. interesting. Yeah, it goes I was like thinking more about what the codes meant on RG Mitchell rights. That's the. I see a lot of Thomases. A lot of them say thirty-two for some reason. Mine says thirty-two. Elias found one that said thirty-two. On the, on the top number. Serial number. Yeah, the serial number at the top. So it can't be like the thirty-second Thomas made then. Maybe it means the thirty-second RGM ride, or the I don't think. Well, yeah, but like, if Budgie is the fifteenth. You think Mitchell had been going since what, nineteen fifty-nine? I don't know. I don't know what those numbers mean. I, I wish there was someone still around who could tell us. But mm. the only people who are around are like factory workers who, you know, aren't. Yeah. They're not like the people who sign them off, so. Hmm. Infants not happy about this because it replaced the buzz. Yeah, I don't know why they would do that. I'm going to try and find the buzz picture quickly. Where I know I That's big picture. Morrison's, that is. Very yeah, big. no, it's like part of a shopping centre, I think. It looks like a castle of some sort when you look at the inside. It's got like a lot of... My dad used to live around that area of Sheffield. So I went there sometime. So I remember seeing that was there. Yeah. Can't be too far down. Mm. Was that with Ollie went there? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, it did was I with tell Ollie you went there. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you did. Yeah, there was. It was like was and Ollie, I'm sure. That's too sure. But, like, well, I'm sure. I'm sure if everyone went to that Morrison's, they'll probably just want to film Buzz since he's rarer. Is this it? No, that's the 2017 one. Where is? It's definitely here somewhere. Come on. Uh, but the only got now is a pepper pick on the recent picture. Surprise, surprise, though. Mm. Why is it so far down? Come on. 
It was like that, but a different picture. Well, I mean, if you can find it, you can always send it on the Hangouts chat tomorrow mm. or something. Yeah, that's fair point. I want to ask something about your rights, though, don't I? Oh, yeah. Um, well, two things. The first thing was... Do you put codes on them, like photo me and not much you do? Well, I, I never really got that far with them, did I? But I wasn't going to put codes on them because that's more, you know. I suppose, oh, although I suppose now. photo me put serial codes on for what they operate, don't they? So I could do. But at this point, I haven't really got enough to bother. And do you have, like, uh, actual registered company that does them or is it just the name that you use? I've well I, I just registered myself as a limited company when the lockdown happened so uh. yeah because <laughs> I was intending I like, got all these good ideas about how I was going to um, donate some of the money that I made I was going to donate it to Autism UK and I've got, oh, I've got all these nice ideas and and it all fell flat, so mm, but I've got oh, oh there he is. Graphics. Pardon? Scarlet Cosmetics. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, but, oh, I've just found that buzz picture now. Just gonna zoom in a bit so I can get to it. There. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. I was originally going to call my um, company Ready's Rides, but it's been changed to Ready for Leisure now, but not Ready yeah. Register yet. I like that, Ready for Leisure, that's good. Yeah. I've made, I've made stickers, um, like printable stickers. I need to print them off and then I'll go and put them on the back of Buzz and Thomas. So maybe, I don't, where, where do you usually put them if you? But you want to see you come. I don't know where you put them near the price. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I suppose you put something near the price, wouldn't you, where people could see it? Mm. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of space on Thomas, though. There is on Buzz, but Thomas is not that uh, much space. Even when did you say you're going to put your company on the register? When I'm 18. Not long, though. No, not long. Uh. Do you like, do you just like My Little Pony or do you like all ponies? I like all ponies. And I'm working at a writing stable now. Uh, oh, this one is from a new TV show. <laughs> that looks like a, that looks like a, um, it's kind of like My Little Pony itself, isn't it? It's just, um. It's more a more cartoony pony. Yeah. I'm going to look him up. I, I, look, I like the look of him. It's a cute cartoon. Dog and pony show. Yeah. It's not actually come out in the UK yet, and I don't think a lot of people know about it. I'm going to have to Google that once I go off the phone there. Do you think the most common ride that Mother Care had was Thomas? I think nearly all of them had Thomas. I think in the more in the later years, yeah, definitely, because we had a mix of the Jolly Roger and Mitchell ones, didn't you? But mm. back when I was a kid, you got all kinds of. I remember them having um, flounder birds, and, you know, even a flounder. I remember a flounder there. The flounder scares me for some reason. I think it's because the face at the front. It's just a bit disturbing. It didn't scare me, but I, I, it's a fun, it's a funny looking thing. I used to like mm. inside where the little fish bobbed, bobbed about in the window to the side of the mm. seat. It's like that. Mm. Mm. Don't come up. Or is it a different registered mm. name? That's weird. I, I literally just registered. I mean, I haven't bothered to look into it or anything, but. Mm. 
Because it all yeah, happens. Maybe, you know? maybe, maybe like, it takes a while to yeah. show up. It might be because I never did anything with it. You know, I just registered the name. Yeah, probably. And I probably literally, because I just like... paid off. I paid off my student debt and I got it all registered. And then the lockdown happened six days later. So, you know, it was not, uh, probably, not good timing. It probably, probably just happened. Take a while there, yeah. This, this, like, these lockdowns are, it's not healthy for people's, like, mental just, health. Thing. Yeah. Making people ill, not just from COVID, but from other things. Yeah. Well, I don't want to go into a depressing topic at the end of this uh, conversation about lockdown, so... Uh, Oh, yeah, I, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it. What can we say to make? Well, I worry. I worry then. about people like, you know, like your aunt with a play centre, as I say. You know, it's the stress of wondering if she's going to reopen, and you know. Well, she said. She said, if the landlord doesn't let her, like the land, the landlord won't even let her in. When it's a building full of her property and he won't let her in. He's he's let other businesses in the mill open, but that's because they're essential and they've been allowed to open, so it's not really fair. Well, that's the thing. That's why it's not you see, that's why I can't really blame the land I mean I don't obviously don't know the landlord's person, that's why I'm not Well my aunt, my auntie says he's a bully. Yeah, well it sounds like he is, but the trouble is because the government are giving people like him the chance to act like that. Because everyone should be allowed access to their property, and it's not it's not right. Mm. That's all I'm going yeah. to say on the matter tonight. Because you know, I don't I don't want to make this political. But, mm. but Ethan, didn't you say that's like Snape buzz out? Well, yeah, because if you even go near rough and tumble, even if it's he's had a go at customers going in because he's been like, it's not open because she's not paying her rent. Like he's really horrible. He's, he's, not, he's not a nice person. Do you know, what, wanna... do you know what's happening? Because I thought up, up there, you're, they've said now that play centres can't open till Easter or something, I read. Is that is that true or is that... Well, I'm not, no, what, what play centres in my... Other play centres in my area, they've been open. They have been open. Yeah, but now, I thought now oh, we're in no, two years system, whatever it is. I don't know. No, I heard I that, know, but no. I, think, I think Boris has said now that they're going to change that, so I'm keeping well, fingers crossed for everyone. Tier three means that non-essential places can open, so but I don't know if that would include play centres or not. I mean, the I reason we had to, before, but the reason we had to sneak buzz out is because he he didn't care who owned what in there. He just said. If you don't pay, I'm take I'm taking everything until you pay up. So we have to take Buzz out because we couldn't risk losing him. So well, we have to go is, late at night. Buzz doesn't actually belong to your aunt, does he? And, and I suppose no. it's for the the crane machine owner. Yeah. And this is yeah. What my friend, my friend Mark, cites fruit machines in pubs, and he's saying the same things happening to him. So mm. The pubs are closing down, and the landlords are taking the fruit machines. That don't belong to the pubs. It's hmm. not, Wait, you know, it's a terrible situation. So we had to go late at night, and the other thing was he's cut the power on the place on it, so we couldn't turn any lights on. And we had to go late at night, I think about nine o'clock, and carry Buzz down about ten steps and lift him into a van. It was it wasn't rescue nice. mission. Yeah. Mm. But we got him out and he's safe until my auntie can sort it out. Yeah, he's, he's got Thomas's company now. He's not on his own anymore. Well, if and you can go and visit him. If it's yeah. supposedly going to take everything out, then wouldn't that be... I don't think he's actually going to. I think he's just doing it to scare my auntie to pet, to make her pay up. Like, but she says... Because she's got no money. I know, yeah. but isn't that technically stealing from you and the... No, she says, if she, if she, no, she says, she says, like, she doesn't even care about opening anymore. She says if if he doesn't let her in to even, like, take down all the equipment and move it out because it is hers, it's, she said she will sue him and 
I get allowed to open again if because the only reason she's got for not paying rent is COVID. Yeah. The problem is the government haven't given enough support to business owners like her. So mm. then the landlords are able to step in and scare people and say, well, we can take your property to pay your rent because you're not paying your rent. But really, mm. if the government are forcing you to close, then that's, you know, it's but not, I suppose what they're doing problem. is because there was that narrow window when play centres could reopen. The government mm. then say, well, you should have been reopened. But they're, they're not taking into account people's different situations. And that's what makes me angry. And the thing that makes my auntie struggle, she also owns a bar and restaurant, and she's that's open for takeaway, I think, at the moment. So she is making some money, but she isn't making enough. Like, she can support the bar, but she isn't making enough so she can support Rough and Tumble as well. Yeah. Because she, and she says, she keeps getting emails from loads of parents saying, when, when can she reopen? And she has to lie to them. This is the same thing that's happening with all the theatres because the government have said that theatres can reopen but you can only sell half as many tickets which means they can't pay to put shows on or pay all the employees so they can't afford to reopen but because the government have said they can open they won't give them any money to keep going mm. so it's, mm. it's a big mess uh, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I said, that I said we weren't going to go into a depressing topic, but I suppose in the current climate, who would have thought 10 years ago when I filmed that My Little Pony ride, 10 years later, we'd all be living in these mad times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, she says she, she runs restaurants. Well, no, she owns a restaurant. She doesn't own restaurants. Well, because it's like three hours Two or three different companies that say from her that say like licensed restaurants. Well, she she has owned other ones in the past, but the, the, let's just say they didn't work out. Well, it wasn't because of COVID; it was years ago. No, well, all the restaurant ones say the dissolve or liquidation. I don't know why that. I don't know why it says that. Okay. I think it's time to wrap this up because, you know... I'm getting tired. There's people at half, pa half past midnight in other countries, you know, and... Uh, yeah. So, yeah. But we've been, here, we've been here for three hours and 45 minutes, yeah. so, you know, mm -hmm. thank you to everyone who's, who's joined this live stream. And, you know, you know if, if it's okay, let's, let's do it again. I mean, I'm always free. Yeah, definitely. I think this, this worked really well, apart from that one little... Uh, lip in the middle <laughs> so I'm gonna, to trim that out. I've, got, I've got to i've got to go back and try and find it now and look at it again haven't i <laughs> so i've got to get rid of it right so um i guess that's the only way though yeah got to get and get back and trim it out and make mm -hmm. it child friendly again mm -hmm. yeah. yeah but it's, I think it's it a really nice evening because when we get like demonetized or something, I'll get blocked. Well, I'm going to get rid of it anyway because there's kids who watch this and no mm. one needs to see that disgusting thing. Because I'm, I'm presuming there'll be kids here because that popular PJ Maths ride video, so there'll be lots. Well, that's of kids. it. I don't, you don't know who's watching it, so you just don't know. I know I've got loads yeah. of, I've got loads of, you know, underage kids on here, so mm. don't. I, I never know whether to say my channel's for kids or not for kids because it's kind of both. So. And also, if you set it on the kids, you can't comment anymore. You can't comment, you can't put playlists, yeah, so I said even. it's not for kids. I, I also disabled that because I want to see comments. Yeah, and you, and you can't, can't, can't monetize, you can't do anything with it. So. I even use the mini player, but there's no reason for that. No. It's crazy, but again, that was that was you know rules gone gone mad, wasn't it? Where the it was, the it was just getting like stricter. It was just getting st stricter. Yeah. Well, yeah, but there's no reason to like ban the mini players. There's certain things I can understand. You know, they've got to protect the kids' identities, but then to yeah. stop playlists and stop notifications—that that's not a safe. Necessary. Route, 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I will. I will keep keep um, watching it if again it happens. I will put um, another one on. I'm just mm. going to think of a new, you know, another event to put one on for. Mm. You know, perhaps we'll have one, you know, sometime over the Christmas holidays. Not, not obviously, mm-hmm. not on try. Christmas Day. Mm. Next mm. time, I'll try to show some um, electric. I can't say again. Mm. What the electro mobile technic? Uh, I got some uh, space car pictures that I opened it up and repaired the PC. I got oh. some photos on. Next time, I will show it again. Well, we need to have another live stream for that then. <laughs> well, I'll be doing. I'll be doing a live stream when I get five hundred subscribers. Like so, five hundred subscriber live stream. How many have you got now? I've got four hundred and ninety-two, I think. Oh, that's good. You're <laughs> almost there, then. Yeah. I think there's probably a live stream next time, like holiday or weekend, because. Otherwise, my mum's going to be shouting at me to get yeah. to Yeah, well, you know, I'm sorry, I've kept everyone out of their bed, so, uh, right, I'm going to get told off by everyone's parents now. Right. Oh, don't worry about <laughs> me, I mean, I've got yeah, you're, 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 uh, yeah, you're, you're mature enough that you can, uh, you know, you're old enough that you, you can, you can skip yeah. a couple of hours of bed, but. And, uh, yeah, and I mean, I, I, I go to college, so I'm not in every day, so. It's fine if I if I sleep late. Mm, I mean, I am also about to graduate from university. It's it's last last semester for me. Yeah, so mm. you've you've got a lot of work to do, and mm, I was I'm surprised 20, you turned up to today. You know. I'm twenty two, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I I feel like the old person here. You say I'm uh, yeah. I'm older than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good. I mean, I, I've, I've got more ride history behind me. That's that's the. Yeah. Mm, I mean, I'm I'm just not not much fan fanatic of rides, but I got into it, so why not? Yeah. I right. mean, normal. Well, okay. Normal, um, ah, okay. Sorry. No, so sorry, I I, I interrupted you. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, Maybe. Say what you were going to say. What were you saying? I mean, I mean, I was going to say that mm-hmm. at this age, it's not normal to like in, get interest into kiddies because you got major and you get on the life. Mm. Yeah, but but you know what is life for? I think life is for enjoying. Mm. So if we if we find something interesting, you know, it's a, it's no different to people who collect toy trains mm. or you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, I mostly. Uh, I'll try to talk. Go on. You didn't go and say something. Um, I was just going to say, key rise is not just a hobby for me; it's a business. So. Oh. Yeah. But, I mean, I. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah, I gotta stop go doing on, this. Go on, I, no, I'm, I'm. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. I mean, I mostly spent my life fixing computers for earning money. I like fixing computers. So, yeah. So, kiddie rides are just something, you know, a bit more mm, light and more that you can do and enjoy. You know, it's... Mm. I don't think... There's no age limit. To me, age is but a number. You know, I'm sure I'll still be doing this when I'm... When I'm 50, I'll still be going out photographing mm. rad. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I've got a friend who's sixty nine and still collects kitty rides. So you know, <laughs> that's nice. I think we've we've got some we've got some time to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Right. Yeah. All right. See you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, thank, then. You, thank you, everyone, for for joining me for this live stream. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. I definitely join when it happens again. Yeah. And you okay, go and get um, some sleep because it's the middle of the uh, night for you, so. <laughs> right then. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.